Yahaha! I found me. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many cool people in my chat. Let's see, there's a blood, there's a TJ, there's a coffee, a Zeta. Thank you for the lurk, Mr. Obvious J, and Sunny Delight. There's even a Miss Diane and a Yuki. Oh goodness, there's all sorts of cool people here. And we are, we have Sunny D hitting the ground, even though it is late as butt. Sunny, thank you for doing all those amazing shouties. Give the man a round of applause. Captain of the D-Light, teller of a thousand dad jokes, player of a million games, doing the do. Thank you, Sunny, for being rad. Guys, I like this game a lot, too. <laughs> okay. Before we continue, I'm gonna go... Let's go do a quick chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, welcome everyone to Insomnia Attack. I am your host, Kerbo Gamer Tone, and at the moment we are. Wow. <laughs> um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you guys for turning up. Not just as you always do, but just like turning up in general tonight, because I think tonight is a very much so needed night for that. Um, TLDR uh, got woken up super, super early. Um, have been doing lots of business things. Then got called up to go into work early, and then I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> so I needed the biggest nap after I came home. But, um, I might have overspicified my food, and apparently my stomach was the setting for a multi-man melee! And I think my nap lasted way longer than it should have. My bad. <laughs> I, needed, I, I needed extra recharge time, apparently. But, uh... I am insanely grateful that y'all turned up the way y'all did. I want to say thank you, Monkey Funk 4D, for the uh, 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 follow. We hope you enjoy your time with us here in Insomnia Attack. And I do want to say, again, if you guys have yet to hang out with all the cool people that Sunny just shouted at it, including Sunny himself, please say hi to each and every single one of them because they're amazing. Like TJ doing the battle chip challenge things, hitting that dab with, oh my gosh. You have, like, a real lot of cool dab modes. Who's that last one? Who's that last homie? Oh my gosh. OBS, please. I want to see who this... I want to see who the, the mode is. Go team? Exactly. Alright. OBS being stinkity dinkity. <laughs> but, um... We have TJ who does the cool battle chip challenge things. Also doing archipelagos with the buddies. We've got Coffee and Sunny. My ever, ever amazing mods and... Uh... Bros. I'm sorry. <laughs> English hard when the single brain cell is just not functioning right now. But, uh, dead up. We got coffee, we got sunny, and just like. They are the bestestest. Hello, chips. Hello, hello. Um. Going down the line, we've also got. We've got Diane, Miss Diane, coming in. Actually, hold up, that doesn't look right. Miss Diane is very, very rad. Variety streamer, player of a lot of cool games, a lot of first-time experiences on her channel, which is uh, really cool. And she likes to play also with uh, OG hardware, and it's just a genuine joy to be around because she's just so freaking cool. Definitely, definitely swing by say hi, even if her PS5 is exploding when she tries to play uh, the high-fidelity... The high fidelity games. <coughs> um, we also have the very very cool Yuki. Yuki streaming a bunch of cool things too. Uh, running around playing uh, Culty of the Lamb. We've, she's also a very big Splatoon and Kirby head. And I know she's going to bed soon, so I want to make sure that she knows that she is radical. And if you guys get a chance, definitely swing by. She has. A, she's also got a very very fun energy about her too. And it is been just rad to chill with over the last few years. Um, let's see. There we go. I don't know why that didn't work. That had to get fixed. Hi, hi, everyone. You're the wild one? No, I'm just Toaster who shows up late to his own stream. <laughs> I am just a goober. That's, what all I, that's all I am. But 
We are here, we are ready to play. Oh my god, I am wiped. It's been a week, yo. I am ready to go mollin everyone, hop in, get in the car, it's time to hit Shiver Star. Dead up though. Hit up the homies. Especially Yuki and Diane. Thank you for keeping me company as we were, uh... Woo, boy. Thank you for keeping me company at work. Because today, today, today was a day. Oh, boy. Also, I'm, like, pleased as punch to see all y'all turn up and say, I love this game, and I'm like, dude... <laughs> Word me too! <laughs> this is such a chill game. Also, let me just the way I'm sitting. Yuki's the leader. Yuki's the lead. Yuki is the lamb leader of the homies. So, funny little thing. <laughs> you have very specific memories to play this game in a Peruvian restaurant every visit for a decade. Wait, coffee, you can you can you elaborate? That sounds awesome. That sounds like such a cool story. Axolotl Oh my gosh, Axolotl, hi. Can we get a shouty for Axolotl too? Axolotl doing all the cool uh, 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 RPG things. Both Vidget and Tabletop. What's up, Axolotl? Honored to be the entertainment at work. Nah for real. Like the streamer buddies who uh dead up are on, like, Sunny, Yuki, occasionally Diane, TJ, like, thank you guys for keeping me sane at work, especially as work has been gotten, uh, your work's gotten kind of hectic. I think that's what I'm gonna use. Hectic, as of late. And there's days where even I need a little extra encouragement, so it's, it's like, you guys are genuinely keeping me, keeping me in the fight, so I appreciate that immensely. Nothing much, a eh? You know, just between us, uh, Sunny and I have, like, an annual discussion about this. It's, like, not even planned or anything, but it's just it's something we talk about every year. But we talk about the best video game soundtrack to listen to during the winter time. And I think this, this track right here is easily, easily one of my top contenders. Oh my god, am I climbing a giant ice cream cone? Sorry, distracted. <laughs> I'm just like, those look very... Waffle cone textured, and I'm all for that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, me and Sunny have like an annual like discussion. Best winter track, or like snowy kind of track in like a video game. And I'm like this one right here. This is the one. This is the one, Chief. This is who we're nominating. Hundred percent. This game is as soon as it came on a Switch. I remember playing this on the 64 and getting stuck on the final boss. The ant bone. More Koibi. Yes, we're playing Koibi today. Welcome to Insomni Chat. We're here playing, playing the pink kickball. Welcome, welcome in. Uh, let me go. Actually, give me one second. No, God, you don't have glasses. Yo, I didn't even bring my glasses to work today. That's how busy I was. I was like, I I forgot something. I know I forgot something. What did I forget? I got my, I got my work badge. I've got my pants. I have my phone, my wallet, my keys. What could I possibly be missing? Why do I feel naked? And then I realized, oh my god, I don't have my glasses on. Oh, what the heck? I'm about to say, is that a homie in the bar? So, oh no, he's a top again. Yo! Homie really- Ow! <laughs> Pulled up and said, get in! <laughs> get in, loser, we're going sledding! Guys, I think this is- this just might be my favorite world in this game. No joke. One thing I'm gonna admit though, I am not a fan of the fact that this- they don't let you keep your, uh, your earned one-ups. Oh, snap! I got a- I got a crystal shard. Whoa! This is a lot more dangerous than the, the mine, somehow. Nope, homie just got deleted. He's just got waddle deleted. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Oh, it's just a jumbo chili. This is fine. This is fine. 
All right. Oh, this is cool. This stage isn't too, isn't too bad. What time y'all watching? Wait, y'all watching stuff? You play Frost Walrus when you shovel snow. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I see Sunny Sunny D is a fellow believer of jamming out while doing the doing the yard work. Honestly, mood. I think the last time I shoveled snow, <laughs> like a few months ago. I think that I think my soundtrack was just a, I was listening to the Beastie Boys <laughs> of all things. I was like. Just out there in the snow, money making, money, money making. This is super disco breaking. Where am I going? What is this? What's happening? I'm scared. Help. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where? Oh, please don't be a bottomless pit. Brass monkey, bop, 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 funky monkey, bop, 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 bop. Actually, guys, is the game too quiet? It's just me. Am I, am, or am I just overly loud? Hold on. This this mixing does not feel right. Give me one sec. There we go. We need to listen to the Kirby in high fidelity. Deej. Deej walks into monkey. It's okay, Deej. If we if we beat this or we beat Marvel soon, there will be more monkey in the future. Because guys, we're playing Ape Escape soon. Are you guys excited? I think it sounds good. I already. Ah, you thought you thought you could escape. No apes escapes from me. Nope, not happening. You remember playing some 64 getting stuck on the final boss? The final boss is admittedly very uh, interesting, but dude, this is such a good game, Yuki. I, I love this game. I actually never got a chance to play this, and this is why I want kind of wanted to hear Coffee's uh, story about this game, playing this at a restaurant. Because real talk, uh, the way I found this game was hanging out at um, Atlantic City with my grandpa, <laughs> and I was like, "Grandpa, can we rent a game?" And, I'm and grandpa was like, "Hey, that's so much money." <laughs> but. Uh, he did. He, 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 we got to try it out, and I will forever remember that experience because we, we chilled there, and we played this for a while on that little trial thing at that hotel TV. And they actually had a 64 controller to, to everything too, and it like was like it was a decent quality controller. The stick actually worked and everything. I was like, yo. And it would be many years until uh, many years, many years after. It'd be many years before I got to play the game again. And I think the first time I got to play it proper was uh, the Kirby's Dream Collection. Like, this game has such a weird, weird history. It's a story for our next hangout. Oh, I love to hear this, dude. That sounds so wild. The airport got you sick and the chicken soup for the soul you needed to. I'm so sorry to hear that, Zeta. That's stinkity dinkity, yo. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that the airport got you sick. My, my other homie just got, uh, was it, caught something. I'm like, ugh, gross. What about every Ace theme Maverick and Robot Master and Mega Man? Those themes are great choices. That's true. Like, Chill Penguin is such a hype track for the snow time. And I also, you guys know I like, I really like the soundtrack to uh, Super Mario 64, so that's another, that's another really good one too. You play Frost Ball and you shovel snow, the track is iconic, it really is, the track is so, dude, this soundtrack is just so good. You walked into, hope you're doing well, just really busy and tired, but you know what, it's finally approaching the end of the week. And guess what, y'all, if you guys uh, didn't hear yet, my Sega Saturn Stunner showed up, so we are a uh, fiscally almost set for the Summer Slam later. I just bumped my head against ice. Yes, I did. Like, no joke. I'm psyched. This, the, the, the peripherals are all in, so I just gotta brush up on some parsecing, and we are actually good to go for um, everything we're gonna be doing for the Summer Slam. So, hey, but uh, that's. For those of you who haven't heard the, half, the, the other half of the story yet, um. It would be forever until I got to own this cartridge. I picked this up l much, much later into uh, in into my life. My first exposure, as you guys now know, is uh, I got to play this in a hotel via one of those demo kiosks. I'm sorry, those demo that demo feature in the uh, hotel TV. And then it, it wouldn't be till like forever later, where I actually won a contest by Nintendo, the uh, Kirby's Dream Contest. By doing really goofy voices. Go figure, huh? <laughs> and uh, the collection came with the Kirby Dream Land 1 through 3 and uh, Adventure in this game. And I was like, whoa! This is like one of the best games ever! Man, I wish I owned this sooner! Because I think I only got 
through like halfway through the first the, was it through Popstar when I demoed that thing forever ago. So now I'm here playing and I'm like, yo, this is amazing, and it's become easily become one of my favorite games. So hearing y'all hearing y'all gush about this as much as y'all do, I can see why. I so get it. This is like Zed is not joking. This is genuinely chicken soup for the soul, and like I kind of needed that today too. And uh, goofy thing, a goofy thing. It's your favorite iteration of Kirby's ability, uh, Kirby's copy ability to date, dude. For real, we were gushing about this last stream too, where it's like, yo, copy is so much fun. I kind of wish you could aim it, uh, aim the copy throw a little bit better, but it's kind of cool. Throw you throw it forward with B, you, you uh, you throw it upward if you're using the C buttons, and I'm like, yeah. I just wish you could just go above a dude and hit them with that sweet overhead. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got the things! Let's freaking go. And I didn't even mix any abilities. I think second place is probably gonna go to Forgotten Land and, uh, what's that game called? I know it's called Ride Attack at certain regions. Uh, Squeak Squad? Where the upgradable uh, copy abilities? Some of them upgrades are just genuinely like super cool. Like, it is very awesome that I can take this and I can yeet it at people or put it back in my mouth. It, it, oh my god, I accidentally spat it out. <laughs> my bad. Well, <laughs> I'm an idiot sandwich. <laughs> look at my ability! Look at it! Look at it! I want all of you to look at it! This is way more innovative. Oh man. That's a hard one because Forgor, Forgor Land's movesets are probably some of the, like, best Kirby I've played in a minute. I really hope they continue doing the cool things they did with Forgotten Land, like for real. Forgotten Land was such a good game. Just mean the powers of mixing in general. Newer mixing is closer to like Ice Bomb or Fire Sword. The funny thing, Coffee, is like, wait, those are the best abilities in this window. Like, I do like the fridge. I miss Fridge Kirby. I also like the fact that you can hold the homie over your head. Like, if you don't turn them into a ability star, you can, you can have, like, a, a, a chili on your head, you have, like, the Umbrella Dude. I know y'all, like, had, like, a whole list. Y'all gave me a whole list of cool things. Alright, you need to, uh, chill. Go away. Stop that, you. The best part, too, is now, if I need to go mix anything... We can just go over- Oh, ow! We can just go over to this stage. We can go grab some of the homies at the beginning of the stage. We have a good, uh... Sisyphus, please! We have a good, uh... Place to go get, like, abilities now. Like, we don't even need an ability room! This is the ability room! Alright, you need to get frozen. Go away. Shoo, beat it. You know what? I'm sitting over here saying, Chill penguins! Kinda cool! And I'm getting chill penguin. By these giant rolly rocks. Please. Please, no bully. No says, hoi hoi. Reach! Thank you for the lyric. Uh, could we get shouties for Reach and Null? Null plays a lot of different things, especially lots of Manhun. Has some uh, interesting, interesting discussions on his channel. While we've got Reach, who does the RPG things. Keep a footnote to remember to ask. Yeah, I definitely do. I definitely want to ask. Also, y'all, if y'all are seeing a movie, go enjoy. Thank you for shouty and thank you for the shouties. Ooh, Dark Souls. Okay, so. Whoa! The homies! Dividing and conquering. Oh my god! Wait, I've been dabbing in this guy's mouth. What the heck? It's not where I want to be. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god! Uh. <laughs> Counting the minutes to Destiny expansion. Hey, you got y'all are getting expansion. Hey yo, hey yo. Um, target lock. I don't got two. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, that's the wrong item. Jingle. Bum, 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 bum. Pokey. Oh, hey. It's your favorite Eldritch Horror, Kirby! He's not the Eldritch Horror! He's just the kickball. He's just a little guy. Hi, Pokio. I got this one. Uh, I need something to- I, I, need, I need to keep up. Because these U2s- U2s are going so fast tonight, which is like... 
crazy to see. I haven't played a uh, season since before Witch Queen. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Also, Pokiel, new to the scene, playing a bunch of variety of uh, retro games. Swing by, say hi. Pokiel is uh, pretty rad. Pretty sure the movie will end before that happens. You'll be home in time to play expansion. If I may, what, what are you guys watching? What are y'all watching? And have y'all seen... Oh my god, this remix. Oh. Uh, hold up. Pause. I forgot how good this remix is. You're gonna see the Haikyuu movie? Oh, you guys enjoy! Wait. Tilt, 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 tilt. By the way... Highly biased, but upcoming potential. It's incredibly hype and a new subclass. You guys are getting a new subclass in Destiny 2? Oh, shoot. Also, can I just say, yo, Butter Building is just so good in almost everything it shows up in? What the heck? Uh, what was I gonna say? I feel like today's been a very busy day, and I, I want to talk with you guys like about so many different things. Um, this song feels more '90s than Kirby usually does. This, it, this remix is just so good. Like this miss is specifically. You know what? I hear it. I hear what you're. I hear what you're talking about. And I think that's probably why I love the soundtrack as much as I do, because the instrumentation for this soundtrack is just so good. Uh, the new subclass is Prismatic. It picks and chooses from every other subclass to make a mix of them. Sync multiclassing? I'm sorry, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Wait, hold up. The best of all worlds for the indecisive people like me. All it's missing is a... Yeah! Come on! Oh, hold on, wait a second. We're turning this into a Sonic track. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's make sure I didn't, I didn't miss anything. End of the 10 year saga. Oh, you know what? That's actually a good idea, then. But yes, you guys enjoy your film. And speaking of films, did you guys see the, the goofy bucket they're making for uh, Wolver Wolverine and Deadpool? Is that Zebon? What, 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 what's happening here? Zebon, please! Ah. Uh, I have been yeeted in back to my home planet. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, no, 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 what? I'm still not sure if that bucket is real. Apparently Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds retweeted it, so I'm like, I guess it's real. <laughs> there ain't no way, bro. <laughs> they ain't no way. Oh, was someone saying they wanted to see this? Ow! No! Game, please! <laughs> I got Jemaine and no! <laughs> Hold up. Uh, that was disrespectful, game. You're still in denial to your AMC source confirms it. I, 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 I know, but still. <laughs> you don't get more official than Wolverine confirming it. Oh my god, I just realized something. For years I've I, for years I have joked about the Australian Wolverine, I just realized. Wait, duh, Hugh Jackman's Australian, isn't he? You know, I can never look at the X-Men arcade machine anymore without hearing Wolverine going, Oh, I dingo! <laughs> and I'm just like, dude. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> But word, it is a, it is a, it is a thing. Can't wait to be elbow dropped in that Wolverine pop, popcorn bucket. Pokio goes, welcome to die. Yeah, that's exact game. Welcome to die. All right, we are gonna try this again, and I'm gonna try to not muck it up. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. See, expert gaming hours. No, 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 no! <laughs> okay. I'ma stop. I'ma stop. <laughs> I'ma behave. <laughs> Clearly, this is a recipe for disaster. Play Kirby, they said. It was gonna be chill and relaxing, they said. Expert gaming hours. Yep. Yerp. Hey, yo, hey, yo. What's up, Zeta? What are we ayoing? 
So, fun fact, for those of you uh, who didn't know this part, that arcade game is actually based on a uh, an old cartoon pilot. For the X-Men cart- uh, an old cartoon pilot for the X-Men called uh, Pride of the X-Men. And for whatever reason, they gave Wolverine an Australian accent. And he, he he's just... He's just so... Am I racing the switch? What's going on here? There's a homie in the back. What, what, what's going on here? Hello? Are you friendly? Are you a homie? Uh... And Wolverine is just... Crikey! Bonza Bluey! It is like the most silliest thing I've ever heard, and the accent is so thick. But the goofy thing is, I think... I think the cast is like from California or something. <laughs> I know I know um uh I I I don't know how to say her name. Cat Susie? If I'm saying this wrong, please correct me and like yell at me. Cause like she's an acting legend and I really I, I don't, I'm amazed I actually don't know how to say her name. But she's a lady that plays basically like Phil and Lil's mom from the Rugrats, and basically like almost every child ever in um like 90s Western cartoons. And the better part is like she was also Shin Chan at one point. Please. Game! I'm about to get a uh, cool cool uh, chill chill mountain. Good luck, enjoy stream. Alright, gotta go to bed, big bong today, tomorrow. Yo, thank you for stopping by, thank you for hanging out, thank you for all the, the good mod work. Sunny D, Pirate Captain signing off, going to bed. Enjoy some quality, Bed Set Radio! Sus Wolverine popcorn bucket. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it, it's a thing. Posted the debated block, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for clipping that. <laughs> Actually, wait, debated block on which one? We should make a compilation of that. <laughs> Dumb things I do in Kirby 64. The montage. But yes, rest well, Sunny D. Thank you for stopping by, dude. Were we racing? I'm sorry, I'm like so distracted by the little homie in the back. Just like, were we, were we racing? Is that a thing? Oh man. But uh, also coming hot off the heels of all the fun stuff that showed up today, and all the fun people that showed up today. Uh, State of Play was today, from Sony. I know, uh, I was talking with Justin while I was at work, and he was, he reminded me that there's also a, uh... There was, um... Not just the Silent Hill showcase, there was also another showcase today. A marvelous showcase. So lots of fun things uh, announced and shown off today. For me, I think what got me going today was uh, getting to see more of Astrobot. Oh, snap Ernie. No, wait! Uh, I'm going back downward. Zip on, please! And like, Astrobot is. So, so, so exciting looking. For the E-Friends that uh, don't know, I do own a PS4, uh, PS5, right? And the little Astrobot's Playroom thing that, that, that it came with is genuinely some quality video game. And I sat there thinking, yo, if Team Asabi wanted to make a full-blown game, I think they would do exceedingly well. And lo and be freaking hold, we get a Team Asabi game, and I'm like, oh my god. This game has so much Ape Escape energy, I am so for it. So I... I am like... Giga hyped. For uh, the new Astrobot game, because like, it is... I'm hoping it is gonna scratch that itch in my soul that Ape Escape left. Because it just looks all sorts of goofy fun. And like, I think one of the things I've always loved Ape Escape for... Not just because it just sounded and looked cool and just felt great to play, but because it's like... It, it's a very fun showcase of what the consoles could do, like, on a control level. 
Oh, jeez. Where'd you come from? It's raining dudes! But no hallelujahs here, because it's kind of, uh, 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 dangerous. But dead up, yo. That Astrobot game just looks so goofy and fun, and it's like, I get, I get a robot dude. That's already 10 points! Oh jeez! This is the most chillest song ever. Just all sorts of fun and joy and laughter, and I'm sitting here getting bullied by the stage. I remember having three three whole lives. What happened? What happened, guys? Oh! Scarfy, please! You can eat that, stinky. Two thousand eight. You're funny. <laughs> you are hilarious. You know the funny thing though, and I've been thinking about this uh, both in private and like the occasional conversation with Monotone. Like that financial crisis, a. Eh? Giga, Giga sucked. B, 2008, they were coming up with some pretty wild stuff at the time. Like, if you stop and you think about it. Yo, we had, like, the Iron Man movies. We had, like, uh, tail end of the PS2 era with, like, a lot of really fun stuff coming out. We had, like, a lot of great handheld stuff coming out. A lot of good music in that era, too, which is, like, insane to think about. Like... I want to say the next few games we're going to be playing on the channel are roughly from, like, 2003-2005. And I know I was... Oh, you can get got. Oh, cool, we got him. Nice. Oh, there's scary homies too now. How much I want to bet I'm missing a shard? Because this stage is just all sorts of... This is like Metal Man levels of Goofy right now. Hold on, pause. Oh, snap. Oh, no! They're easy to miss, IMO. Some of these, yeah. I was, uh... I was saying last last time we streamed this, I was like, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to, uh, go and collect a bunch of stuff that apparently I did not collect while I streamed this with Besaru, like, forever ago. Like, we left off on, um, the, uh, Neostar? Oh, wait, what? Oh, snap! Homie... Homie gives an ability. Snow... Ballin'. Get out of here. Wait, pause. You playing? No! I gotta come back here? Hold on. Yellow, orange. Is it double yellow or is it yellow orange? Sp needle? Needle? Spark? Snowballing by Roddy Rich. Oh, snap. Hang on. Pause. Wait, what button is it? Oh, it's this button. I got this! I believe in us! <gasps> oh, I got the tomato instead. <gasps> that is the cutest thing ever. Homie just took that and just went, nah! Wait, how did I miss it? Bro. <laughs> we are missing a... I missed one early in the stage? The good thing is, at least, they give you an idea of where to like look for the shards, because they're like, oh no, you missed it in the first third of the stage. Haha, ha, silly you. Alright, this... I don't need that no more. How do I... Oh. Garbo. Garbahai! Nope! You... 
get done. Oh, that's not like the longest animation ever. It's not as fast as uh, the other games. Where is Spark? Actually, wait, why am I doing it here? Why am I going to this stage? This is the one that has all the good stuff. Please! I am but a simple puffball. No bully. Please, no bully. Oh, because I'm getting stuck to the ground. Oh, that's what it is. I've said this before, but you ever go, you guys ever like play a game, fall in love with it, but you don't come back to it for a very, very long time, so it's almost like playing it over for the first time again. Genuinely how I'm feeling right now, because it's been long enough, I think, that since I played 64 that it's like, it's an almost new experience for me, and I'm all for it. Alright, real talk. There he is! There's the little dickens! I'm thinking this is what I need. Oh, I just realized what combination this is, and this is going to be kind of difficult. Admittedly, I never would have guessed what the stage theme was going to be about until I actually got inside the stage uh, stages and played it. I see it now, though. <laughs> I'm like, why do they call it Neo Star? Oh, because it looks like one of those uh, Dino Period pieces. Brain has a very short refresh timer. Understandable. Yufo says, totally did that with Super Metroid. Oh, what's up, Yufo? I need to go sit down with this one day. As much as I enjoy, like, Metroidvanias, I have not spent enough time with the Metroid series, and that's something that I really, really, really need to rectify. Chilling a bit before bed. Hey, enjoy your chill period. That is what we're doing here. As well. I'm trying to figure out where did I miss that shard. Something Mamaton brings up frequently, which is a uh, information information influx these days makes it really easy to either get overwhelmed or just have stuff fall at your head, and I think that's my issue probably. I have to keep deleting stuff off the hard drive. Only really played the Prime games, Fusion and Dread. I need to change that myself, cause like I want to, I want to mess with the uh, that that Metroid Two Return of Samus remake, and I want to mess with uh, Super, cause the concept of being able to aim the way you can in like uh, some of the Metroid games is kind of neat to me. Like the lock, the lo the locking aim system from um, Gunstar. Which is another one I really, really want to mess with, because treasure is all kinds of cool. Also, coffee, if you're so conscious. Just just a heads up. Uh, Super Tone Marathon coming up, right? And you can ask Sunny for what the specific games are, because I'm keeping them a surprise till uh, they arrive at the lab. But I think you're going to get a really big kick out of what the games are. <laughs> she goes, you chef. Wait. There you are, you little dickens. Dude. You are not joking. Some of these are just rude. Oh, snap. Look at them goodies. Just chilling there for the taken. You ever play Super Gunstar? What's my take? Uh, first and foremost. Oh my god, Gunstar Red is a girl. I didn't know that either until Ichigo streamed it. <laughs> no joke. I was like, oh snap. She got the she got the uh, the bubblegum crisis haircut. That's wild. Um Real talk, I wanna play it myself. I wanna play Super Gunstar Heroes, because like I watched Ichigo play it and I'm like, wait, this actually looks really cool. I didn't I didn't mess with the uh I didn't- I didn't research the, um, the Game Boy Advance Treasure games, like, uh, Super Gunstar and, um, Advance Heroes. 
I'm more familiar with some of their older catalog, and I'm like, wait, this actually looks freaking rad. I'd play this. Granted, the game also looks extremely, extremely difficult. But you guys know that doesn't that doesn't scare me. I'm I'm too dumb to get scared about that kind of stuff. If a game looks hard, I'm just like, hey, yo, bet. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. I'll probably be kicking and screaming and crying and dying, but I'ma still give it a shot. Like, I really want to try uh, another Crab's treasure for that same reason. Zebon, please. Zebon, please! Super Gunstar wasn't bad. Not nearly as good as the original, though. One of these days, I gotta sit down with both the both Gunstars and just, like, give them a shot, because... Admittedly, they looked fun. But I completely- I feel- I feel Home Shark on the whole... I am green wanting to cry in inside thing, because oh my gosh, that last section looked so... Uh... <laughs> that, le that last section looked... Ah! Uh... All the Gunstar games you found tougher than Metal Slug? Yo, no, for real. And that says a lot, considering Metal Slug. Now see, Metal Slug's the series I 100% mess with. And was like, oh man... <laughs> Like, I adore Metal Slug, but it's definitely one of those games where it's like, you're gonna get your teeth kicked in. <laughs> like, trying to trying to play Metal Slug without, like, dying too much is brutal. There's a small part of me that really wants to sit down with the OG Slug and, like, learn how to, like, 1cc that. Because it's, like, not only the, uh... Not only an earlier Slug, but it's also, like, paced enough that it's... Not the most corridor stealing game compared to like literally every other game in the series. Another tempting one is to do um, Metal Slug 2 for the additional uh, 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 built in slow mo features. Wink Wonk. Sarzak! Oh, is that a fantasy Sars online? Stop by to say hi. We should give him a shouty too. What's up, Sarzak? Deej has. Did someone say Gunstar Superheroes? You love that game? Deej, what is that moat? That's funny. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, well, Coffee's got that one. I'm gonna get the other one, then. Guys, if you get to hang out with Sarzak and Sword Saint Mike, they're very cool dudes. Sarzak, player of a million games, teller of a thousand cool tales. Dedicated to the Fantasy Star, Resident Evil, and Castlevania franchises. Swing by, say hi, he's a very cool dude. And we've also got Sword Saint Mike, player of a lot of cool hard games. Appreciator of the finer things in classics. Swing by, say hi, they're both very, very cool. Hello, hello. Thank you for shouties. Thank you for being here. Ow. So for real life, y'all... Oh my gosh. There's just... All these dudes coming out of the woodwork right now. Um... Gunstar. It's cool. <laughs> Metal Slug is also very cool. I really... I really want to sit down one day and like actually like learn it. Because like... I love me some Slug. No joke. It is like one of the most funnest run and gun co-op experiences ever. It, is, it scores a nice hearty 10 in like music, graphics, and gameplay. It is just the best. And nothing nothing brings joy to my life than rescuing a homie and having him say, Thank you. Except for, you know, the, the dulcet sounds of Iron Lizard! Rocket Launcher! Heavy machine gun! Okay, so I just gotta make sure I do not get got because we found the combo, which is nice. Get got, goon! And we've got them all. Now to try this again. I'm gonna try to collect the trading card. Can I? Actually, you know what? Maybe. Yeah! I got the thing. Don't think you could ever hit uh, 1cc on that one. Those guard, those games are as tough as they come. Oh, I have thoughts. Middle slow chicken for me. Wait, what? Oh. Hi. Is this is it finally time for my favorite stage? Please, please. Rocket launcher! Get in, guys! We're going shopping! Time for the best stage ever. 
This is 100% one of my favorite stages in the entire franchise. This and, um... This and the mall in, like, Forgotten Land. Like, Forgotten Land's mall stages are genuinely some of my favorite fare for this series. Look at... Look at this! We've got escalators! Please! Wait, was that a crystal shard? Was that a shard just chilling there? No, it is a poppy, bro. You're not a crystal shard. Get out of here. Never knew the colors of the box was copy ability neat coded. So, funny thing about that copy is like they're all copy ability coded except for one very specific puzzle. Which Insomni Chat got to see me literally cry, scream, die, and soil myself over in uh, Aquastar. I was like, wow, I hate it here. Like, if you just look at like the weird obstacle, like a wall or a barrier, you look at the colors and they're usually like checkerboarded or they're like a zigzag pattern. And it's just like, oh wait, I've seen these colors somewhere before. You go to Aquastar in that one stupid room with the Dancy Boys and the fiery dude, and I'm just like, what is- what am I supposed to do here? Diane says nighty night. Oh. Good evening, Miss Diane. Rest well. Thank you for stopping by saying hi. Enjoy some quality. Bed set. Radio. How often have you gushed to me about Bomberman 64 the second attack? Uh, Not as much, actually. I was watching Hana play that though, and she was like having a time of it, and I'm like, it almost made me want to try it myself. I hear the consensus is uh, OG Bomberman 64 is like the bop. Oh, Miss Miss Diane needs the uh, the Final Fantasy fix apparently before she knocks out, which is a uh, <clears throat> vocal shift. Engage. By the way, you can thank Coffee Hazard for this one. Coffee Hazard is the one that inspired this particular redeem. I was watching someone play Final Fantasy VII for the first time, and she got to the Tonberries, and I just sat there. I sat there with my stomach doing backflips, and she was just chilling. She's like, oh, this is not so bad, this is not so bad. And then she got doinked, because she took the Tonberry too lightly, and she just, she just, she got got on so many levels. A physical one, emotional one. I was like, yep. And another soul, another soul lost to the Tonberry. Never played Bomberman 64, but you did try Bomber Hero. You feel revitalized after that. There's something about the little doink sound that the tone, the tone, tone berries, the tone berries make in Final Fantasy. It's, it's, it's so funny. Ow! My guy. Oh wait, this isn't like Mega Man. I can break those. Life is good again. First time you've seen a tone berry was seeing someone play FF6. No matter what game you're in, you get shanked. It's so it's game over. Great OST. Bomberman Hero was lit. Never beat 64 or never played Second Attack, but played the cool racing game on PS1. Ayo. Oh my lord! Is that a piece of bread? Oh no, it's just comfy blocks. Second floor. Annoying frog department. Somewhere, somewhere, there is a useless goddess absolutely crying on the inside watching me play this game. 10-2 Tom Berry spawned in the very beginning levels and or didn't do like 100 damage. All I heard was Final Fantasy 10-2 intro and that dope concert scene where everyone's just running around trying to catch the bad guy. Glad it's gotten several official releases so it's not just the game rips. Even the CD album is a unique yo yo. Fond memories of Second Attack due to its co-op mode. Oh, you could you could control Pommy? Hey yo. Only thing you know about Bomberman is that it spawned Beatamon. Wait, Bomberman spawned Beatamon? Word? That's a thing? You would have fought for the doink too if you if you were playing, completely caught you off guard. He's just a little guy doing his thing with a gazillion HP, and he comes up and he goes, Shanky Shank! And then the damage comes. And that is why the Tonberry Knife is one of the strongest customization items in that series. Useless Goddess? Yeah. Floor number four. The Pound Town Department. Save me! Oh wow, that actually worked. 
And now to floor number five. And if you look to the side, Shotzos! Shotzos everywhere! And bombs! Oh my lord! Guys, you said bomb too many times in my chat! You manifested them! This ball even has mini bosses! They really do have everything! That's pretty cool. I'm gonna be real with you, Blood. I, ever since I've, like, watched Konosuba, I just cannot... I, I can no longer see a frog and not cry. <laughs> I think I think that that bit of aqua crying in both both the first episodes of like the first and second seasons is like just such a mood. <laughs> wow. Look at that! They even give out complimentary shards. I love this place. It's great. Hey yo. Homegirl is painting a melon. Let's see. Yam. A singular cherry. And an acorn. Gee, I wonder what I'm supposed to do here. Okay. I like this game because you can step on the buttons and they don't activate immediately. You have to actually push down on the button. Which is something I wish Mega Man did. Let's go, Adeline, best girl! This is why I brought you to the the arena and Star Allies. Please! Please! I forgot. Ha ha ha, this is anti air. Floor number six, the Feed Me Seymour department. Alright, you know what? I, I, I do not have time for this. I have all the shards, we can just go. Whoa, and it's connected to the, uh, the Ikeas. Whoa, goodness! This place is really falling apart. Alright. I'm about to get blamed for uh, touching things that I ain't touched, so uh, we need to get out of here. Ow! Hold up. Oh, look! There's even a pet store. Uh. This useless fish, I swear. Even your anime episodes are mid. Get out of here. I played too much Super Mario, guys. I'm, I'm scared of getting getting got by an eel or something. Posted a link to the first Beatamon anime in story mode. I didn't know that Beatamon was a derivative of Bomberman. Are you telling me that this is how Mega Man indirectly crosses over with Bomberman? Hey yo. The beat em on anime was great. I just remember the one kid sounding like Roger Roger uh Roger Bones from the English dub. Woo! The hardware department. Where you can get as many tools as you can think of. But don't ask him if you need to go get anything printed, I'll tell you what. They'll talk, start talking to you about JPEGs and lord knows what. I'm going to some going to, I'm going to the, I'm going to the, going to the, going to the, I'm going to some going, I'm going to go to the hardware store. Look at all this stuff. Oh god. <laughs> Happy time so. <laughs> A happy time zone to you too, Aru! Hello! Can we get a shout out for Aru? Aru, uh, hangs out, plays a variety of things, likes to in, likes to enjoy the quality mobile game now and then, is also an absolute whiz in the kitchen. How goes, how goes? No, the whoa, 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 I'm touching things I ain't supposed to be touching. Well, if you want to know how things are going, I touched... I touched the chandelier and almost got gut. That's how it's going. Whoa! Is that a Kit Kat raiding in? Table for 15? Ghost Cat Raid! Zooey Grimwolf! Welcome in, readers! Guys, if you get to meet me, uh, I'm the host of Insomnia Attack. They call me Kerbo Gamer Tone. We play old school, we play new school. Sometimes we like to go shopping in very elaborate shopping malls, even in game. Do you have any favorite departments? You'll have a water to start. 
Hold on. I got you, fam. Pause. I got you. I got you. Hold up. Never say that I don't do stuff for Insomnia Chat. Hang on, hang on. Whoa! The Ant Bone, thank you for the follow! We hope you enjoy your time with us here at an Ow! Insomnia Attack! Ow! Pain. I hope you don't mind. Fresh out the tank. Look at that. Glorious H2. Are there little homies that swim in here? Are you. Wait, hold up, pause. I never noticed that there's little homies that are in this tank that, like, swim around and follow you. That's actually kind of funny. I find something new to love about this game every time I play it, I swear. But... Opinion on Kirby Superstar Ultra? I want it on more consoles because Kirby Superstar Ultra is one of the funnest video games ever. And it's not just, like, the funnest Kirby game ever. It's so good. Also, the sprite work is just fantastic. But we've got da 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 da. We've got Strider, Sassy Slayer, Tsui, Grim Wolf, Kit Kat herself. Is that water? Top ten run on true arena. Hey yo, GG Strider. That's pretty rad. Um, I'm gonna go shout out Kit Kat, and while I do that, could we also get a shouties for Hirosaki who has decided to stop in and be awesome? Guys, if you've hang yet to hang out with uh Kit Kat, Kit Kat is uh, not just art streamer, she's also a variety streamer, plays a lot of different games, fellow Rhythm Head, and is just giga chill to hang out with. Kit Kat is super duper fun. If you've yet to actually swing by, say hi to her, she's super cool, and she's got a lot of really cool models she has. Could have gotten a faster time, Ayo. <gasps> Did Wham Bam be stinky? What happened there? Again, Raiders, if you've yet to meet me, uh, we play all sorts of stuff on my channel here. Currently just jamming out to Kirby 64, going mauling, and uh, if you guys gotta tuck in, get the jammies on, brush your teeth, please feel free, to, uh, feel free to do so. We care about your well-being as well as your company here at Insomnia Attack. Speaking of enjoying company, you drew Alice in Wonderland Miku. Wait, Alice in Wonderland Miku, ayo. See, this, these are the things you guys also gotta know. Is uh, Kit Kat's also fellow Vocaloid head, and like her drawings not, are not only like giga cute, but like. She chooses some really fun subjects, and uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm biased, because <laughs> I, I I also enjoy the Miku. Speaking of which, always a joy to raid you, always a joy to have you here, like, thank you for sharing community, and I know I do stream late for somebody else, so if y'all gotta really uh, get cozy, enjoy some EPs, please, please, please feel free to do so. We appreciate the lurkers, the chatters, and the future VOD friends. Like, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and taking time out of your day. I apologize for the late start. IRL has been, uh, kinda... kinda busy. Def hopping into bed, have a good night. Case in point! You rest well, Coffee Hazard. Enjoy some quality. Bed set radio! And guys, if you've yet to hang out with Hirosaki, our ooh, resident interdimensional pilot, driver, and occasional chef, Hirosaki is giga rad. Definitely, definitely consider stopping by saying hi. Um, we would like to extend a heartfelt congratulations for clearing the Endwalker content, Hirosaki. That is no small feat, because 14 beat a time. GG's, congratulations. Salutations, what's up, what's up? You know what, actually, uh, I'm gonna I'm a yeet that. I would like to return this and get a new one. Hold on. There's a homie in here I think I saw. Ooh, no, 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 ow, 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 ow. Get out of here. Ow. No, no, no. Ow. Didn't want to touch. Sir, your, your floor models are all kinds of dangerous. I need you to, uh, stop that. So, for those of you who don't know what I'm playing, this is Kirby 64. It has this. <laughs> oh, wait. Never mind. I can't hit those. I can't hit those. Speaking of Jet Set Radio, anyone know if you've gotten any updates for any of those games? No. Not, if, not, not as of yet. But we do... We do have... Uh, we did get an update on um, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D, which is kind of cool. And a brief message on, I think, Dragon Quest 12. Thank you, thank you. And you guess Kirby? Kirby safe since it's not Sprite? 
Yeah, I, do, Kirby Kirby strikes me more as a Dr. Pepper boy. Oh goodness! But yeah, dead up to answer uh, to answer Strider's question about what are my thoughts on Kirby Superstar Ultra? I adore that game. I actually have a very big soft spot for it because I have co-op that game with a bunch of very dear friends of mine, including uh, my sibling and cousin. And I love the fact that Kirby Superstar Ultra lets you actually hit up the homies and say, Hey, you want to try out Kirby? And they give you the entirety of uh, Spring Breeze to play. And Spring Breeze itself is just basically like a smaller version of the original Kirby game's uh, normal mode. I think the only thing the only thing that drives me nuts about Superstar Ultra... Oh look, an elevator. Let's go up it. Oh snap, we're done. Ta-da! The only thing that drives me nuts about Superstar Ultra is it is on DS. And as much as I love my DS, I wish it, I wish it was on more things. Boop! Let's go. Hi. Oh boy, after after a fun time at the mall, I can't wait to see where we're going next. This place looks cool and inviting. I can't wait to see what's inside. Oh, wait. Hold up. The lid is off. That's convenient, but I wonder who left it open. That's not Asha compliant. So many nice games stuck on DS. No, for real. Uh, what happened to the nice music? What's up with that? This is infinitely less inviting than the mall. Uh... Huh. Ooh, Gordos. You know what? You know what game I weirdly enough think about a lot that's stuck on DS? Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Trobador. And I know it is genuinely, insanely hard to create like individual monster models for almost nine thousand uh, different cards. Excuse me. But I like that. I like the fact that Nightmare Trobador had like little character models and sprites. For like the monsters that you can put on your field. I just found it super cool. Kind of like it was my it was my wish fulfillment version of seeing like all the monsters in little holographic form in the anime and the, the manga and junk. And I was I'd, I'd like be so down for another one of those. I think uh Duelist of the Roses and Forgotten Memories are another two games that I find that really cool that they did that for. Like nothing says cool when you start a fight and you see, like, your red-eyes black dragon just kerbliterate a bad guy. Dom of the D! Thank you for the ring! Uh, Farlow! You just want a port that's not solo remix again? Is that too much to ask? I'm a weird one for that one, Zetisla. As much as I think that the concept of the dual puck system was cool, and the, um... The, the, the split-screen inputs, as much as I thought that was pretty neat, I did enjoy the heck out of, uh... I actually enjoyed Solar Remix, I did. I think Final final Mix's uh, controls are probably the better of that. Solo, solo Remix is neat, but like... The ability to simultaneously control two characters is always a core part of The World Ends With You. And I'm glad they finally brought that back, back for the uh, Switch version. Oh, shoot. Woo okay. So, nothing there, and I don't think I can break this. I'm gonna need a different ability. Maybe Drill? You like the Yu-Gi-Oh! GameCube game? I thought that was neat for Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, when you say the GameCube game, are you talking about the, um... Oh my god, what's the game called? The Tactics Ogre style one, right? The, the one where it's like, it plays like uh, Halo Wars, or like, um, like League? I'm not gonna lie, I found that one pretty cool too. I haven't played it personally, but like I've seen other people play it, and I'm like, wait, Yu-Gi-Oh! MOBA? Hold up, this is actually kind of cool. I guess you'd call it like a real-time strategy game. Love the factory theme in this game. I, I miss the invitingness of all the other music in this world, but you know what? This 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 industrial sound actually is pretty cool, though. Like, this game has no misses in terms of soundtrack. Seeing the creatures moving out uh, about falsehood or something. Yeah, seeing the little homies run around the field like. I was like, oh snap, RTS Yu-Gi-Oh, that's kind of cool. Some Japanese exclusive games I loved on DS like Blazer Drive and World Destruction. Or Saga 2, I'm still mad Squeenix did not localize Saga 2 and 3. Yo, those remakes were so bomb. 
That's my wish. Did you hear about the Shonen Jump MOBA? Wait, pause. No, I didn't. Wait, did you just say Shonen Jump MOBA? Oh, Blood! Blood, thank you for the stream! Oh, heck! Oh, heck! That's a long time. Thank you for support, bro. Brain was just like, Oh, not normal Yu-Gi-Oh! No, for real. But I love the monster designs. Like, if you guys, if you guys uh, have hung out with me enough, you probably heard me at least five times in a given week gush about how how cool I think Sky Strikers are. And like, if Konami partnered up with Integrates to make a Sky Strikers action game, I would so play it in a heartbeat because I think it's cool. Okay, you know what? I take it back. This, this, this stage is cool again. It has King DDD. But giant obelisk go brrr! And seeing the monsters work together and do attacks. It's little stuff like that, that it's just like... Can I get all my magician girls to just team up on a man? Just, just... All the fellas! All the fellas! Oh, those are... That, that, that was a door. Which means I did not get squished. And bust open these doors. Run, penguin, run! Jump mobile post in story mode? I'm gonna check that out later, Zeta. Thank you for sharing that. That's actually wild. Then. You forgot World Destruction was localized called Sands of Destruction? Hey, yo. What's that line from the Yu-Gi-Oh dub? What can you bear to crush an innocent life? I'm the CEO of a company. I do that on a daily basis. <laughs> Say what y'all will about four kids, but some of the script writing in that era, of the copywriting in that era, of uh, era was just such a time. Particularly for stuff like Kirby and Ultimate Muscle. That's some of my favorite examples. Ultimate Muscle, wild. Ultimate Muscle was wild. Saw the GX clip of Don Zella. Oh, stop. Wait, pause. I, I need a breath. I just saw that clip today, too. Our <laughs> GameCube game by FromSoft called Lost Kingdom, then use cards to summon monsters and fight enemies with them. You have my attention, blood. I, I need to take five seconds so, to, to, to catch my breath because I saw that clip today. And for those of you who don't know what uh, Aru and I are referencing, or what Zeta is also referencing too. There's a there's a Yu-Gi-Oh anime episode where this man really goes, and I play this monster, and I go and he just walks out into the field because I am him. <laughs> and then the best part is, and I attack your life points, double blaster, pew pew pew. And he start he just picks up two little two little like um pistols and starts blasting, and I'm just like, this is the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> the one and only, cause I'm him. And he dead up, you see the attack counter go up right next to him, I'm just like, this is not real. <laughs> Coffee sometimes runs up and teases me about GX, and I'm just like, this is such a show. <laughs> what the heck is this? I really want to try the Golden Egg Witch, guys. That's, that's all I want. I just want a Golden Egg Witch. It would have been funnier if Kaiba Man did that. Like, did the Dark Magician girl even do that? Like, I know she showed up in like a couple episodes. Bruh. GameCube card game. There's a FromSoft game of that kind. Was there a FromSoft game? If anyone else wants to chime in, because I know we have a lot of the 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 RPG heads chilling chat. The Golden Egg Witch. Yeah, the dorm. The dorms in GX had like this super magic sandwich, known as the Golden Egg Witch, and it's like the most delicious thing ever. The Golden Egg Sandwich. It brings light, luck, it brings joy, it may even improve your pulls. Like, for my for my Final Fantasy heads, you know how Zell Dinked kind of just like goes gaga over trying to get hot dogs in the cafeteria? The Golden Egg Witch has a very similar reputation where if you ain't first, you're last. That was the old comment, you checked the name. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha. From stopping making some cool stuff though, so uh, if you wish to chime in further, Blood, what is uh, what what have you learned about that very cool game by FromSoft? I don't know. I think just, I just think it's cool. Like, 
It's like Yokai Watch, where it's just like, you get a cool trinket, you summon a homie, and it's just like, Come on out, my friend! Summoning Jibonyan! Jibonyan! That just, that makes my brain very happy. I don't know what it is. You know in one of the games there is a Golden Egg Witch Lottery? Oh my god, you're right, I think there is, actually. I don't know if it's Tag Force, though. I just know they reference it in Tag Force. Like, Secret Confession, I really like Tag Force. Is that Toothless in the back? Oh no, it's a cat, that's not a dragon. Not sure on the GameCube stuff since you never owned one yourself. <gasps> hey yo. Things to explore on home Wii Wii. It was one of the tag games. It might have been two. Cause that's the one I that's the one I, I caved and played, because I was like, I want a game I wanna play a Yu-Gi-Oh game where I can bring my uh Valkyria lock back to life. Cause that's that's me. Uh I'm I'm old. I'm an older I'm an older head. And like I think the last time I ever like messed around with Yu-Gi-Oh, like to a somewhat semi-serious degree. I'm probably uh, itty bitty baby school compared to all y'all, but like my jam was uh, my jam was um, spellcaster deck with uh, trying to fish out the magician's Valkyria so I could just lock down people and just go ha ha. Now I have time to level up my silent magician and absolutely demolish you. Effectively a deck building action RPG. Okay, you have my attention, Kitty. Look at him, this small little dickens. Chilling in that tank. I wish I could free him. A deck building action RPG which stood out because you saw a demo of it at a Kmart kiosk. But those are the coolest things ever! That I saw Panzer Dragoon Saga at a kiosk in a department store once and I was like, I want to play this. This guy's name is Dart, that's kind of cool. So mad Mission Impossible banned giant decks right before you started playing. Boo! That's whack. That sounds cool, though. Look! A Chuni! Kind of reminds me of one of the Mage Sisters. Wait, are they making critters here? Is this where they get the toys for the mall? Hold up. Alright, game, we're about to have a problem. <laughs> you, 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 you make me require... Two different combo abilities to get your crystal shards, and for that, that is inexcusable. Stinkity dinkity. OMG, the days of standing there and sort of breaking your neck to play games for free by looking up. See, this is how Aru- you know Aru was also one of us. Playing at the kiosk because they had to have it nice and tall so everyone could see it, but the stupid thing was like so tall up that if you actually played, you don't have to tilt your neck upward like this, develop neck cramps, just to play the- is the hot sauce getting taller, or is that just the animation? Oh, thank goodness, it's just the animation. Me and McDonald's playing Pac-Man World. I feel like the Macca's kiosks weren't so bad, but like... Maybe it's because by that point I was already, like, a teenager. Thinking about it now, maybe, maybe the, my, my littles would probably, like, have a difficulty looking up like that. You know what? Since we're on that subject, does anyone want to chime in? Apparently, I remember when Macus had GameCube controllers. Do y'all apparently remember when they had 64 controllers? Does anyone know about that? Anyone, anyone remember those days? Anyone want to fill me in? Because I feel like I missed out on something cool. I want to know about the broken joysticks and uh, SSX Tricky and um, all the people playing Mario Party. You guys remember that? When 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 fast food joints had video games? And I'm not talking my usual my usual oh my god, the local pizzeria has an arcade cabinet with a with a Nintendo thing installed and they can you can play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Or oh my god! La Venderia Pro Tour! We play it Oh god, how did that happen? We're playing uh Samar Showdown at the laundromat. <laughs> no, you remember the PS2 and GameCube? Wait, you're your Mickey D's had a PS2? Dude, I've never heard of that before. That's cool. Excuse me. I'd like the hiccups. Y'all, real talk. Like, I Zeta, please fill me in. <laughs> That's kind of cool. 
it's really weird because like y'all know I'm from the era where arcade games were everywhere. You could go to a Chinese buffet and you could straight up see the X-Men six player cabinet. Like that's the era I'm from. But somehow I managed to miss the part where y'all got 64 games and apparently PS2 games in your McDonald's. Literally only had like one game was SSX3. What was up with McDonald's and loving SSX Tricky? I mean, I get it. Extreme sports were like really popular back in the day, but still. Bro, let the kids play Simpsons. <laughs> the children's hospital used to go to had a 64 with Mario 64. Wait, Bloody, I'm gonna get back to you. Always dreamed about sitting in arcades when you were small, but at least round one exists nowadays for the older me. You know what's really funny, Aru? I'm gonna be real. Um, it was a magical time. I remember uh, there was a mall I used to go to, and it didn't matter what school you went to in the area. All the kids were there, and it was like the neutral zone where everyone saw each other. We just chilled out, played In the Groove or Soul Calibur. Uh, everyone got salty over playing Tekken 5 Dark Res. It was a magical time. I, I, I loved that arcade. And if you weren't playing fighting games, you could have a good workout on the DDR or in the groove machines. Like, it was- it, it's like such a chill ambiance, and it's something that I try to not only bring to, uh... Try to bring to stream, but it's also kind of like the ambiance I like- I just like enjoy being around. There's actually an old-style arcade... That I frequent. Where homie prices the games out to like uh, a coin or two, and like it's such a nice feeling. It's also a very popular community spot too, where like kids will hang out like during summertime after like schools let out. Um, families come to just play pool. It's like one of the best places ever, man. That sounds like such a dream. Like go there after school to cheat yourself on money from food and spend on games. Real talk, the place I frequent, he. Uh, he has gone on record saying that most of their money really just comes from their grill and pool rentals. The video games are just a very, very nice bonus. And it's crazy because you can tell the man loves his vidya. He owns... Uh, he's one of the first places that got Step Maniacs. And like, he frequently has stuff like Theat. He has... He just got Chuna, uh, Chuna them in. He has Mai Mai. He's got um, a Torny a tourney setup for In The Groove 2. Um, DDR, I think now he's updated to, he's finally updated to Ace. It's, it's, it's like a magic time, man. I love arcades, like, I really do. Just chilling, being able to, like, hang out with the homies, make new friends, meet up with old ones, it's just the best feeling. You live so far, the only one round, only ran one in your state. It's because they try to go to areas that need, like, the foot traffic and, like, economic boost. And I get that, it's actually kind of a, a, a kind of a cool thing they try to do. But sometimes it makes them so out of the way, and like, there's a round one opening, um, up by Justin. And it's not exactly in the best neighborhood, so I'm sitting here like, oh god, I don't know what to think or feel there, man. <laughs> Always feels good supporting good businesses. No, for real, like, it's like the Waffle House, man, you just, you just, you don't, you don't mess with... This- you don't just- you don't mess with that establishment. It is like the safe zone. The neutral haven for everybody. Regarding Yu-Gi-Oh! Back in high school, during your junior-senior year, your biology professor was an avid Yu-Gi-Oh! player and man was running the frog deck. Did he dice- Did he play y'all? He was just like, now it's your turn to get dissected. <laughs> also, Bloodya, I would just like to point out. Bloodya said- Bloodya said the children's hospital you used to go to had a 64 with Mario 64. That is so cute. And it's interesting you mentioned that, because that is actually what we do for the Summer Slam. If you guys don't know yet, Gamers Outreach is an organization dedicated to helping out kids in hospitals through the power of gaming, and they try to bring rigs and uh, hire volunteers, I'm sorry, hire, hire uh, assistants to help, you know, chill with the kids, help boost morale, you know, give them opportunities to socialize, and just, you know, unwind after, like, their time at the hospital, you know? And uh, we fund enough. We actually can help fund like their little go-kart setups. And their go-kart setups are really cool because they come with like monitors, consoles, and controllers. Sometimes we can help put, them, put together like little mood-boosting swag bags. Or, you know, they do actually have an outreach program where you can actually help help out kids directly just by chilling with them. You want to get the Magic Kuribo plushie? They made a Magic Kuribo plushie? Ayo! Hey, 
Bloodius says he actually allowed us to play during class. Lucky everywhere I knew. They were always banned them things like contraband, man. It was wild. Then, no, oh, my lordy lord. Robo has this really cute story about one of her, uh, her, her teachers growing up, where if she, if they finished work fast enough, their teacher was so freaking cool. He would bring in like a Dreamcast or something, and he would just let the kids play. And one of the games that that teacher had was like freaking Power Stone of all things. And I'm like, dog, that is awesome! Homie brought Power Stone to school, let's go! An old hospital you went to as a kid offered Spyro or Twisted Metal to play when you were sick, and... You made the wrong choice. <gasps> you picked Sp- Just kidding. There is no wrong choices. Those are both good series. You will say you wish you had a better deck boxes for your cards and stuff back in school. I had, like, a couple. Like, like one or two, because, uh... Papa Tone's a very, very, very big collector. And he was like, put your cards in here, do not lose them! I did not listen. I still wonder where that Charizard Bulbasaur went. Good night, everyone. Take care. Take care, chips. Rest well. Enjoy some quality bed set radio. You still have never played Spyro. <laughs> Do it! The toys, for, the toys for Bob ports are solid. Do eat. Can I just say that Double Spark is one of the coolest abilities in this game? Domain Expansion! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that's not cool! Oh, I hate it here. Hang on. You bring a dream castle school sometimes? A O A O. Please. Please make sure that you are taking care of it. That is happy and healthy. Oh my lordy lord. Oh I got jabated by the cake. Ah not safe, not safe, not safe. Kirby, please run faster! Going 3D really, really made the boy chunky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am risking life for sandwich. Please! Please! There it is! Alright. Oh, shoot! Ugh. Wait, what? Did I just get Mega Man x Oh, what the heck? <laughs> you wanna eat that saw blade? I don't know, it doesn't look exactly, uh... Looks a little too crunchy if you're asking me. Noidle, noidle. Oh wait, shoot! Hang on, pause. Can I can I respawn the other guy? I want the uh, I want the combo ability back. I got I got Mega Man X, bro. That's not that's not bueno. Please, please. Is it because it the the, in, the interior looks like it's strawberry flavored Aru? It looks like a big strawberry frosted cookie. Is that why? Ah! Game, please. Oh, I get it. Oh, pretty sneaky, sis. Actually, can I? Oh, I can't drop back down. Zap! Domain expansion. Oh, thank goodness that was the end of the stage. Alright, because I'm Giga Nerge, we are gonna go try to collect the card over there. Huh! Yeah! Let's go. It's the challenge of eating it and being Kirby. I don't know, everything just looks eatable. To be fair, you ain't wrong. Kirby games be like that. Kirby games be like that. Alright, give me five seconds to figure out... What was... Did I need Drill? At least with this game, you can just hit exit stage and keep your shards, unlike some of the other games in, like that I've played. I think in this series, too, where you have to finish the stage out proper. I think, I think some of the newer 3DS ones are like that. Speaking of Kirby DS games, for uh, for the homies that were hanging out earlier, that's another one I wish that was on a... Uh, they got, like, a console port. Because the Kirby 3DS games are so good, they deserve to be on more than just handheld, bro. Like... Don't get me wrong, I love me my handhelds, but like, I genuinely, genuinely wish that they were on more things. Like, super de duper big time. Orange and br dark brown. Um. Who's the orange one again? Orange or dark brown, orange and dark brown. Stud 
So does Dark Brand, I remember that much. Where's... Where's Needle? Where's the Needle, homie? Can you not get Needle in the stage? I know it's in here, isn't it? No? Rolling Stone! Ow. Hold on, maybe it's not in here. Where's Needle? It's like I'm making the I'm making the Giga Drill Breaker again, right? Wait! Pause! Oh, we're already at the end. Check that out. Don! Oh my gosh, Don, thank you for the, uh... Thank you not only for the streak, but saying hello. Guys, go say hi to Don. Don's rad. Don has been hanging out playing, uh... The Stellar Booty. Also playing, um... Blah, 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 the fellow appreciator of Old School and the School. Recently came back from a very cool field trip. What's up, Don? I want to get that game so bad, dude. It looks so fun. Thanks for shouties. Thank you for stopping by and saying hi. If it is early for you, I hope you have a very good day at work. Giga Joe Breaker! Cellar Blade is a lot of fun. Dude, it reminds me so much of the Deadpool and uh, Blackrock Shooter games. I really, 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 really want to, uh, I really want to get it. Like, at that point, Eve being cute is a giga, it's just a bonus because, like, the game itself was fun. Giga Drill Breaker! It's working lurk time? Yeah, good luck, good luck. Them... them poses? Yup. It's just a bonus, it really is. And that... that's how you know the game is fun, if that's the bonus. <laughs> and real talk, uh... Did you score a PlayStation, or did I... did I mishear that? Because I... I tried to lurk in during your little field trip. But I had the... was it the audio cut? Because I had, um... a lot of work stuff going on at the same time. Alright, before we continue, actually, I don't want to use, um, this ability. I feel like being a bum. And again, one of my favorite things about this game. You got a PS2 Slim for Kylie? Oh, that was a PS2 you found! I was like, hey, yo? Well, wait, what region is that console? The Slim came in other colors in, like, Western Territories too? I must know more. I scored a blue OG game. You scored a blue Game Boy? Like a pocket? Ayo? You know what the funny thing is, Don? That was actually uh my first Game Boy. Was the uh was a was a tiny little blue pocket. Man, so many good memories playing Pokemon on that thing. No stinky. That's cool. I mean Eve does a cute pose every time she finds us. Oh! The soda can pose? It is so cute! That's why I want to play the game! Like, just, it's the little thing. It's the little things that make me happy. Honestly. I hate it here. <laughs> I made the wrong combo. An original fat? Wait. Oh, wait! So, apparently the old school brick got blue versions exclusive to certain European territories? <gasps> I have homework to do! That sounds freaking cool! Hold on. This sounds amazing. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna look into this. Like, for five seconds. I'll be right, right back. Promise. Um... What's it called? Um... I need to see this. I need to see this. This is crazy. Oh, is this it? Oh, <gasps> Don, this is beautiful. The play it loud Game Boy? Oh, wow, this person's Game Boy is really clean. Yeah, the guy you bought it from said he bought them in bulk and sold them to a guy in the US who would sell them there at a higher price. 
Good luck, gonna go play some games. Hey, Aru, thank you for the lurk. Thank you for stopping by. Enjoy your game. Enjoy your game. Your game is gotta go. Good night. Take care, Mike. Rest well. Thank you for stopping by. Saying hi. I think your first Game Boy Pocket was a yellow one. I love the pocket. The pocket, like they when they said pocket, yo, they meant it. That was so cozy to bring everywhere. Um. So, if you guys want to see what I believe this is, what Don found. It's this particular model. I'm gonna drop it in story mode really quick. Oh, that's right. Sakamoto Days also showing up. Getting animated. Okay. Okay, going onto Discord during stream is a poor, poor idea. <laughs> oh my god! I just saw the goofiest thing. Thank you, Sonny, for making my night. Okay, so it's this one. Let me see. Is it bad that I kind of want one? It's this gorgeous navy blue Game Boy. And it's got like little ridges on the back for improved grip. Nice, like little, uh, nice lines for the speaker girl. And I'm just like, if I put my Pokemon blue cartridge in this, I'd be the coolest kid ever. Hold on. I'll use your, your I'm gonna use Don's Link instead then. Give me one sec. Cause, uh, let me see. This looks, this looks amazing. Honestly. This is, this, oh shoot. Hold on. This one. It's this one. Still looking super fresh, though. Like, oh my gosh. Fate lurking hardcore over here. Fate. Appreciate the lurk. I appreciate you. Thank you for the lurk. I hope you're doing well. Again, guys, swing by, say hi. Fate. Fate, very cool. She streams what she wants, when she wants. And ain't nobody gonna touch that crown. Also recently celebrated a uh, subathon. Which was very, very, very fun. Definitely swing by, say hi, if you get a chance to fate. Fate's very, very cool. Very chill too, person too. Um, that's a nice blue. It's so nice, dude. I throw my, I throw my, uh, my, my Zelda cards and my Fatal Furies up in there. Play some Trap. Play some Mega Man. Dude. Imagine that blue Game Boy playing the black and white version of Mega Man Extreme celebrated, meaning you need... You need money for... <laughs> Hanging out with cool people is a celebration. Always. Always. <clears throat> That's cool, though. You, you also hit a bunch of different goals. Now, uh... Fate's getting upgrades. Let's go. What was I doing? Oh, you're gonna find a boss, right? Uh, let me go... We also need snack time. There's that too. Okay, I'm gonna check into that in a bit. Let me go. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna spend all day on Discord at this point. These pictures are too cool. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be back in a bit. I'll check that in a bit, don't I mean? Also found the, the- You found the battery pack? Oh, jelly! I wish they had- some, I know someone made a super cool battery mod for the Wonders one. I wish they had that for the Neo Geo Pocket, because like... I'm tired of stealing remote batteries to go freaking power up my Neo Geo Pocket. Let me see, where is it? This one. Gotta fix the, uh... Monitor. Oh, man. I need, like, a command to fix those things. Okay, so we are gonna go tussle with the boss. Did Potion ever show you the guys, the Game Boy you got him for the birthday? No, he did not. I'm all ears. I enjoy, uh... I enjoy hearing stories of cool things and handhelds. Like, 
The Fire Emblem 3DS OG 3DS handheld is gorgeous. It has a brand of the Exalt on it, and it's like, oh my god, that's a giant freaking robot in my Kirby. Oh boy! Okay, I clearly have to try now. <clears throat> Full shame! Shame! Whoa! Almost jumped into that! What am I supposed to do? Oh no, I'm getting hugged! Ugh. I just got slammed and welcome to Japan. Bro, what am I supposed to do? Get pecked! Ah, okay. It's counter-attack time. Ah, oh, man! You got him a Pokemon Game Boy Color? Oh, you got one of the Pokemon Game Boy Colors? Those are really, really nice looking. Real talk, Fate? I'm very curious as to see which which one you got you got him. Cause Dead Up, that's the Game Boy Color I I would play on. And Papa Tone had the uh, the Japanese orange and blue one. Are you cereal right now? I got got pretty good. Hold up. This is getting kind of fun. That's cool, though. Ah. No pressure, but if you do get that picture, thank you. I appreciate that. Speaking of which, I gotta... Apparently, Tweeter sounded off. Say they said for the final, for the final day of the Mega, the Mega May photo challenge on Twitter, they want me to show off something sentimental. So I'm like, oh, what should I take a picture of? Oh, he traded. Oh shoot, he got laser beams? Hold up, you didn't do that last last time. Get got! Did I win? Oh, 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 oh goodness! He just went R-Type on me! Oh, what the heck? That's cheating! Homie just straight up trying to stomp me! Get Matt crossed! Did I win? We done here now? Oh, that was wild. <gasps> uh oh. Oh, that don't look good. I was really expected her to take Kirby and just throw him into the portal. <laughs> she was quite, she was kind though. Okay, uh, we officially made it to Ripple Star. Okay, 
Serious question. Should I finish the game tonight? <laughs> are we finishing this tonight or... Uh, what are we doing? I didn't expect this to tear through um, Shiver Star that fast. Ah, oh, good times, man. They don't just they just don't last. Just want to make sure. Do we have everything? Tanuki says it's not super long, but usually collecting crystals extends it. We have them all, though. <laughs> That's the funky thing. It's a like, oh, I got, I, I'm caught up. Love that Boston Shiver Star. Game for whatever, though. Gotta go to sleep. Good night. Take care, blood. Rest well. Also, hi, Tanuki. Oh, Hazuki, what's up? Sent it in Don's Discord and tagged y'all. Thank you, thank you. I will stop by. I will stop by. Later. What's up? What's up, Raiders? Welcome into Insomni Attack. I'm the host. They call me Intergalactic Gamer Tone. Right now, we are apparently closing in on the end of Kirby 64. Whoa. We play old school. We play new school. Sometimes we even like to talk about yummy snacks. I kind of want one. What else did I have in mind tonight? Honestly, Kirby till bed. Do you, guys, do you guys think I can finish this in a few hours? Because maybe that's what we'll do. We'll finish this in a few hours. Huh. For Slurton. Alright, here we go. You guys want to see me finish this tonight? Let's finish this tonight. And then I guess next week I'll play uh, Ape Escape. So that means I might have two game debuts on my hand. Uh, next week. Oh wait, is next week Summer Games Fest? Oh. I don't know. Cause I wanna kinda I kinda wanna chill with the homies. Actually you know what? I stream I stream late anyway, right? Summer Games Fest is probably gonna be done by the time I start streaming anyway. We'll see. Cause I might be chilling with one of the homies who was who's uh, streaming Summer Games Fest, if that's the case. But we'll see. Unless I'm at work. I forget I forget which day it is, if it's a Thursday or Friday. In any case, Kirby time! One more late one more stage to go. I have no health and I must scream. Do you recall one of the crystals in the final level took a big to figure out? Yeah, I wonder if it's the same one that I took me a while, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hold up. I want this. Starfy, please! Oh, you know what? I just realized, uh, both of those areas are basically really good for finding uh, ability combos. Because that's Needle, Spark, and Fire right there. The other stage has... Oh, there's Stone. The other stage has, a uh, Easy Frost. I mean, uh, Easy, uh, Ice. Dude. Domain Expansion. Domain expansion! Let's see what Hazuki was playing in the meantime as well. You think you're maybe confusing this level with the first one the other night with enemy placements? Yeah, it's got a very similar feel to the first stage of Popstar. So, understandable. Oh no, there's a barrier! Preventing me entry from getting into- just kidding. That's pretty cool. They have water doors. That's nice. Is that a giant saw blade? Oh, jeez. I hate it here. Alright, you with the popping up and hitting me. I'm getting kind of on my nerves. Stinky. Oh, shoot. That's a shard. Welcome back. 
From the Ad Space E-Friends, Lurk now, gonna go back to watching Queen Charlotte. Enjoy the Lurk! And if you end up knocking out later fate, enjoy some quality bed set radio. You think it's set to revisit on purpose? Yeah, that's what I love about this game. It's just so convenient. We're not gonna be here forever like the other Kirby game if I finish it, right? Uh, there's, I don't know. Good question. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I, I like Kirby. This one kind of has it all. E. So real talk. Uh, now that Ed Space is over. Uh, welcome in, Raiders. Um, Hazuki, thank you so much for sharing the community with me. Raiders, I understand it's maybe a uh, little on the late side for some of y'all. So if you guys got to tuck in, brush your teeth, please feel free to do so. We here at Insomni Tech value your company as well as your well-being. Um, Hazuki, how is stream? Playing... Uh, is that Rakugaki? RKGK? What kind of game is that? Hazuki says yes. E what kind of game is that? Also, sorry for the delay. The delay in the the the, the, the communications. My, my, my apologies, my apologies. Oh, no joke. This is a good about everything here. It's like Jet Set Radio Future meets Ghost Runner? That is a very interesting combination. Yo, that's wild. Pretty enjoyable, but fresh and collect everything in. You mean like most most 90s platformers? <laughs> wild has your attention. Yeah, no, that sounds interesting. And if y'all have yet to meet Hazuki, Hazuki, uh, variety streamer, plays a lot of different things. Some of them may be a bit saucy. I hate it here. Sounds very interesting. Yo, for real. First person challenging JSR? You mean like Mirror's- Just kidding. <laughs> I'll say, like Mirror's Edge? Hold on, give me one second. Needle Bomb? Am I seeing that right? They're, they're Bomb Homie there. I see a Poppy Bro. Hold on, I was busy blowing everything up with my uh, awesome double spark ability. Give me one second to figure out if I can find a Needle Homie. Because if you can find Needle, homie, should be able... Oh jeez, all the fire homies. Not what I'm looking for there. Hold up. Can I backtrack? No, I can't actually. Oh snap! This game is- this stage is awesome! I lied. You're thinking Mirror's Edge on skates. The amazing ice adventures of- <laughs> just kidding. The devs are also really nice. Aww! See, that's the stuff I like to hear. I'ma be real. The thing that keeps me coming back to a, to a place, whether it's a restaurant or a really good shop, is if the owners are just rad. And no joke, some of my favorite restaurants in my area, I genuinely like to just continue coming back to and supporting because just the people are just so freaking nice. Like my usual ramen joint. Those people are amazing. Or like, um... This is really, really, really good Malay place that I really need to go back to. They're so cute. Like, I would bring, I would bring like friends and stuff, and they're just like, oh, you look too cute, so cute together. Are you, are you, are you married? I'm just like, no, 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 <laughs> no. They're just, they're just homies. They're just homies. <laughs> this is brand new. And they pop in people who stream. Oh, that's cute. Oh wow, I never realized he, he actually sinks lower and lower into the ground if you beat him up. That's pretty cool though. Thank you for sharing that with us, Hasuki. How you been, by the way? It's been, it has been a min. <laughs> Exhausted, stressed, otherwise kind of okay. You know what? Making it through, that's the part that- that's the part that counts. As Uncle Death would likes to say, Doesn't matter if you die, all that matters is you try. Ow! But I got the ability. I thought I had it. I did not. Let's go! All the shards got. Oh, it's double tap. 
Oh, I could have had two cards. Ha! I'm a goober. Let's go! This game looks rad. Just wishlisted it. Ayo, hey, word? You built a whole playlist off of Rakugaki and the devs have pleasantly not commented on how you used your own music? Huh. I mean, understandable. It's a thing. And it's very much your kind of game. Ayo. Hey, if Tanuki says is rad. Ooh. Hey, look! It's the homie! I remember you from the other stage! Wait, what is up with this music? It's very ominous. What's up with that? Oh, are those Ripple Star folks who got converted into uh, not so good of them? All right, all right. Quit squeaking. Oh, I'm in the drink. I like how this game was just like here, bonk this uh, bonk this fish. This music is very disconcerting. <laughs> uh, no, not disconcerting. It's spoopy. Even the fish are concerned. No, no, no. You, it's all good. You're coming. I saw your comment. No worries. I was like, interesting. Interesting. I was like, we've said this a while back, actually. While I was playing through uh, a couple other games where I was like, you know what I miss? I miss the PlayStation 3's ability to stream music while you're gaming. I think the 360 had that too. Ronai says, hello, hello, Ronai. Hello, hello. We are in this spooky cave with the very unpleasant music. Why... Homie's turning up. Get him, Triple D. DDD smash! You make game specific plays in your web radio? Interesting. Silence is pretty classic 64 game. It is. This is a very good game. Oh, my crab. This is a very fun game. This music, though. Woo. Music kind of rough. Sandwich. Hold on. Actually, you know what I want to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to see if we can bring the other dude back. Music in this level is pretty freaky. Yeah, no, we just went from... Oh, so cutesy patootsy to... Uh, hey. Someone had a bad day. And yet... Oh, wait, wait, wait. And yet, it is still really enjoyable. Like, most things on the soundtrack. Oh, I just got the chompy jaws. Block that, knucklehead. Wait, how do I... It's underneath. Look at these big ol' hitboxes. Is that a tomato? Is that tomato? It is. It is a tomato. Really sets the tone for the area. Yeah, no, for real. Like, I went into Ripple Star thinking, oh, the music's gonna be nice and chill and cozy. I was a fool. Friend, hello there, run! Welcome, welcome in. Welcome back to Insomnia Attack. We're here, we're gaming. We're moving, we're schmoving. And if y'all like old school stuff, Ren is a fellow streamer of the old school variety. Swing by, say hi. If you enjoy old school things and the occasional dad joke. Okay, this looks like. First level gives like, oh, breezy sense of false security. Yep, that's Kirby, alright. Ripple Star is a very Kirby world. I feel like they're all very Kirby. They're all very Kirby places. Is this Ripple Star? Yep, we're on Ripple Star. Reverse of the first level pop star? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, guys. We pointed it out earlier. Thank you, thank you for also pointing it out, though. 
Anxiety music? No, anxiety music is that whatever the heck they got playing in, um... The, what was... What's the name of that forest in, uh, Superstar Saga? Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. I was chilling with Ichigo as she was playing her, uh, her very first playthrough of Superstar, and I'm just like... I forgot how anxiety-inducing <laughs> the, the, the woods are, oh my gosh! Hold up. <gasps> is that... Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Oh, look, an elevator. Game is ending is great. Please, guys, please do not spoil the ending for anyone who has yet to play it. Uh, even if I played a game... I know there's a lot of Insomni Chatters who, who um, have not played these games yet, and I played them on their behalf, so let's not spoil anything, please. Thank you. Appreciate that greatly. Trust me, I love Kirby as much as y'all. No! I missed the card! Should have played the game, you love that one. Yeah, the end of the game is, uh, it's a, it's honestly brilliant. It's a time. This is, this is such a good game. Yes. Y'all, don't say nothing. <laughs> Especially not for this game. I feel like that those are the Ganda games I, I super enjoy playing, where it's like the- Oh-ho! Didn't see that coming, did you? Wait, if it's the very start- You know what it is? I bet you, if I take the left door, it's in there. Oh no, the, fi the fish! Oh, I lied. Oh, you know what? I think I know what the secret is. I know what the secrety secret is. How much y'all wanna bet? Oh, yo, is that Spiny? I didn't love enough. I made Kirby lose the card. I know. I'm sorry. No golden egg, which is for me, apparently, for a week. Spiny Raid, is that is that a shark? A shark homie I see in my chat. Spiny Raid rating in table four. Table for two. Spiny, P2, what's up, what's up? Guys, if you get to meet me, I'm the host of Insomnia Attack. They call me... Intergalactic Gamer Tone, hanging out, playing the things. We play old school, we play new school. Sometimes we even like to talk about our favorite pizza toppings. Do you guys have any? And on my end, guys, if you guys have yet to hang out with Spiny, Spiny's rad. Spiny, shark streamer, playing a bunch of different fun things. Ooh, what's Loop Hero? One thing you wonder about the game that you not have thought about before. As long as it's not a spoiler, feel free to ask. As long as it's not a spoiler for the stages I've not played yet, feel free to ask. Not a spoiler? You like chicken on pizza? Oh my god, spiny. Spiny. Wait, what am I doing here? Not where I wanted to be. Spiny? It's a roguelite RPG? Did you drop a golden egg witch or a silver egg witch? You guys are funny. Why are there destructible objects that can only be destroyed by a very specific combination of powers? I like to think A, Kirby logic, because Kirby's funny like that. B, it's kind of like how... Scientifically, there are certain combinations that will only interact with each other. And some, you know, will resist each other, some will, uh... Some serve as, like, catalysts for chemical changes and junk. It's that kind of thing. You stinkity dinkity blocking my stuff with your shield, I'm gonna drop kick you. I'm about to get real and say so. This man's really said, <laughs> nope. I hate it here. <laughs> Jumping is just not as fast in the other games, and it's, it's, it throws me off so bad sometimes. Go ahead. I hate it here. Come, my goon. We ride! I hate it here. I am going back to the first stage if this keeps up, because this is ridiculous. Tanuki, they lied to us. This is not simple at all. Get mashed! Oh no, wait, 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 wait! Kinda love trying to make sense of video game worlds made to the game first and world building in second in sense. Yeah, no, no, it's like, it's like scientific. There are certain materials that exist in nature that are just like... 
they're only susceptible to certain, like, other elements. That cactus give needle? Does the cactus give needle? Good question, actually. Feels like someone planned that I'm out. All I know is Aquastar, stinky. Maybe the villains in Kirby like those ARPGs a lot. Oh, that actually is kind of cool. Wait! I'm a ding dong. <laughs> Hold up. I'm sitting here getting needle, and I'm like, wait, that's actually not the ability I need. <laughs> I need this one. <laughs> Cactus gives needle, yes. Oh, it's okay, because truth be told, needle's not even what I wanted. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, wait. That ain't it. That ain't it, Chief. Oh no, I got- I took out the dude I wanted. I'm sorry, I'm busy thinking about y'all's questions. My bad. <laughs> My B. What? Chat, you're just so distracting. It takes the Mario world that makes it make sense. Now see- I can try to explain Kirby away. I, I you you give me Mario and I'm just like nope, my brain ain't having it. Let me try this combination. Let me see if it's it's over here. Oh wait, what am I doing going this way? Let me just go left. Ta da! A lot of 2D platformer game mechanics don't exactly mesh with reality. And you know what? That's okay. Sometimes we don't come there for reality. We come there to be entertained and maybe take a break from reality. Like Gun Vault. Actually, that's a horrible example. Gun Vault makes me cry. I lied! It wasn't that. I might be thinking of a different stage. Oh well. What could this thing be? Model D, you holding out on me? Leisurely Gun Vault. Just casually making me cry every time I play a game. Gunvolt is great. Gunvolt is fantastic. I love Gunvolt. Or am I a ding dong and I should have brought a different color ability? Is that actually double spark? Or something? Get got! Like Mega Man Zero! Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold on, I think you're onto something there, pal. Took me a bit to figure out the power for this one. Is it a good cry, though? Oh, what's up? What's up, gamer? Gunvolt kind of like the successor, and by extension Mega Man itself. The funky thing is, I feel it's more so like... It is the... It is the spiritual successor to the Tails and Eggman stages from Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> which is kind of funny. But yes, it is also very Mega Man coded. And that is why I, I absolutely adore it. I'll figure- I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Also, Lola- Lola is a giga cutie. Lola- Lola is just so adorable. She's just a wonderful little bundle of bot. She's a literal- literal- literal ball. And she's just great. <laughs> Alright. That ain't working. Because I think this is already where the other shard was, so... I'm going too far. Maybe I got the color wrong. Maybe just double spark. Hang on. Let me see. Goodbye! Gunvolt himself is cute. Gunvolt is a bro. That's why I am just so sad for him. Like, homie just... He's like Spider-Man. Homie just can't have nothing nice. Love Mega Man X, but kind of hated those stages in Sonic Adventure 2, so I don't know if that works for me. When you kind of understand how they work, it's so much fun to just run around trying to chain everything. But what's up, everybody just turning in? You've come just in time to see me try to finish this game. Apparently, Insomnia Chat wishes me to finish this game tonight. So we're going to try to finish it tonight. And no, Hirosaki, I'm not going to try to play any crazy up all night arena. Oh, it was double spark. I just got the color wrong. Teehee, I'm a goob. Guess so. They're interesting if you're trying to chain stuff. It just, it just feels good to get like like eight targets locked at the same time. We did the same. No, this this this, this is the bop. I need a I need a I need a picture of the tiny little fairy queen. 
just chilling on the screen, just being distressed. Have you guys ever seen that video? The video of uh, the, the the Kirby band harassing the Fairy Queen. It was like the funniest thing ever. This is a snazzy beat. This music is the best. Probably didn't help the watercoloring make the color look different. It does not help. Getting a very good score requires specific routes, and there's a lot of buttons you gotta press. No, for real. But once I started playing Gunvolt, I was like, wait, those stages make sense to me now. As long as it's not last boss suffering. You mean, you mean post-game, post-credit boss. By the way, we finished that. I beat Soul Melter EX. I'm happy. Did I cheese it? Oh, 100%. One day, I'll, I'll finish it with the, with the Poyo Boyo. One day. Today's not that day, though. Domain expansion! Get domain expanded. Oh, look, a free crystal. Don't like how slow the platforming and the botnik entails. Levels feels really either. That's why I like Gun Vault, because it's, it's like a nice, nicer feeling version of those. Like, tearing through stuff at Mega Man Zero Speed, while scoring chains on dudes, and then striking them with a spark caliber is like the coolest feeling ever. They play Ripple Star. Right, that meme. That was so funny. <laughs> I want that so much. I don't even want to play the stage, I just want to enjoy the music. You like how even though Gunvolt has the idol theme, they put effort into designing the villains and they have a really good aesthetic to them? Yeah, the the good ideas they they have from like a lot of their other games come alive in Gunvolt so well. Like, Inti Creates knows how to make bosses. And honestly, a lot of the bosses in that series are just so freaking fun to fight against even. Even like Galgun's bosses I found were like actually really fun to play. You have just left the stage on for the music before, villains getting anime transformations is very very memorable. I mean, it is a very Japanese coded game, yes. <laughs> wow, you're just tearing through this! This is great. What about the Blaster Master Zero series? Blaster Master... The, what they did for Blaster Master is also kind of wild to, to see and look at, too. Like, bro, the upgrades they gave to that was just like, woo! Hirosaki's, I think, played uh, the Blaster Masters on the uh, stream before. Can I also say that the Fairy Queen has really great taste in decor? Like, this, this joint is, like, pretty cool. Also, wait, I'm domain expanding, but my thing is... It's like inverse plasma, and it's driving me nuts, and I can't touch the D-pad while I'm doing this. Am I done here yet? Oh my gosh, guys. No, I know, I know, so it is It is the same one then. <laughs> You're thinking of the same one I'm thinking, and I'm like, Wow, game, wow. Wow. <laughs> In the dumbest way. It is the one ability that I never mess with. That's why it was so hard to figure it out. And I was like, oh, that's so cursed. <laughs> oh, cool, another free shard. Life is great. Whoa, oh my gosh, there's guys falling on my head. Please. Game, please. Wait, what on earth? I'm pretty sure that is not a ceiling decoration. That don't look healthy. Ma'am, I think your ceilings have mold. Oh, wait. Oh, stage is over. Ha! Ah, uh, well... It's the antimatter disco ball. Oh my god. That don't look healthy either. I missed a shard! Oh no, wherever could it be? I'll deal that later. This looks like the final boss. And I'm pretty sure all y'all want to go to bed. Whoa, 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 what do you have? What do you have? What? Whoa, what is this music? Ow!
Oh, you're joking. Wait. He has Gemini lasers! Game. You are really, really, really doing this to me. I'm getting Mega Man Zeroed! And now he's a giant piece of chocolate! Oh, God. <laughs> Shoot the whoop! He really did. Time to go. Oop. Ah, oh, man. Homie is not taking much damage, and I don't appreciate that. Yeah, heck! What? Oh, jeez! Oh, I see what you want me to do. I think. This is actually kind of challenging. I like it. I am having fun with this. Immensely. Ah, man! Toaster power? Yes. Only lone wolf don't run with the clan. Only trust instincts and be one with the plan. Some days, some nights. Please. Game. Please. Oh no, he's a Zelda boss. He's a Moldorm. Wait, do I have to eat? Do I have to eat the booty? Oh no, jeez. I just took really, two really dumb hits. Hang on. This this team, this team is all going to be banging. Like we have been gushing all night, P two, about how good this game's music is. Oh man, I whiffed. No, oh, I missed. That's right. You give me means to counterattack, you knucklehead. Oh no! Magus is casting dark magic! I'm gonna get Chrono Triggered! Here. You can go and drop your chocolate over there, Stinky. Oh shoot! One hit left. Darn, wasn't fast enough. Oh, again with the chocolate. Ah, 
I got greedy. Love the factory theme. Game truly does does have bangers, dude. It's like the soundtrack. The whole soundtrack is just oops, all bangers. I got golden. Ooh. Homie did not like how much damage I was doing earlier. Coming at the neck. Jeez. Joke's on you. Kirby doesn't have a neck. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? That's illegal! That's illegal! Uh oh. <laughs> this fight just got real ugly really fast. <laughs> Imagine, imagine a necktie, Kirby. Cause we're gonna get some serious business done. Oh, that's what I did. Gunvolt lasers, please! Ah, oh, they're all like on him. <laughs> his hitbox! His hitbox so chunky! <laughs> oh no! Alright, alright, alright. I got your number. I got your number now, pal! Uh, maybe I shouldn't bother with that anymore. What the heck? No, let me... Let me boop this dude! Please, game. Let me boop! Let me boop! Joke's on you, I'll trade you. Bring your game link cables. Getting greedy, which I should not be doing right now. Ooh. What the heck? Game! As much um, as much as I adore Kirby 64, sometimes his physics, man, are just so funky. What even is this creature? Annoying. He's very annoying. Uh. But he's made a, a bunch of the different copy abilities in the game, and I'm just getting to get I'm getting kind of Mega Man right now, which is kind of interesting. Kirby 64 is also sadly one of the few games in the series that doesn't have, like, the really cool flavor text for stuff. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> the chocolate! I'm weak to the chocolate! Is it in... Icosahedron? You use those when we play D&D. Yep. It reminds you of a virus or something? Yeah, this is some Osmosis Jones nonsense, honestly. To be fair, he's infecting Ripple Star and, uh... The doctor called and he said it's time to, uh, excise this... 
ailment. Buddy, you're cancer, so I'm gonna cure you. Get gone! Aw, oh, man. Stupid reflexes. Traded, but it was not. It was not bueno. Shoot. Ah, perfect. This guy is easy to counter. Get hacked! <laughs> Traded, but no shiny Charizard. Nope. Oh, snap! I've not seen this screen, like, ever. <laughs> I tried to cheese the bounce. I really did. I thought I was going to be safe in the corner. You know what? Real talk. This is still one of the chillest game over screens I think I've ever seen. The homies are just napping. That's wild, man. It is very seldom that I see a game over screen in Kirby. That's crazy. Saw it slowly approaching just to do nothing but watch. Well, yes. Hashtag, no backseating. Love it when you get the last form, it just messes you up. Dude, the, the, the gigantic spike. <laughs> the gigantic spike, no pun intended, for this boss fight is just like, oh man. I'm having a fun time though, this is a really fun boss. I like that they're actually, they're actually, they got you playing as Vanilla Curb, and I'm just like, oh, snap. This is a very enjoyable time. Arg. It broke! It broke! You recall the Donkey Kong Country one kind of being, like, nightmarish? Yeah, the Donkey Kong Country one is actually kind of, like, unsettling. Oh man. Okay, I'm being dumb. I'm being, like, really greedy with, like, trying to counter the chocolate. Form. Joke's on you! I'm a Zelda player! Oh, shoot! I should have brought the shield. <gasps> That's illegal! He went the same way I was going! Stinky. Also, the rock form rub salt in the wound if you get hit. It really does. Oh, oh. Rock salt. Oh, oh, you guys are funny. Can this boss be changed damage by powers if it's a matching power? I think I tried doing that earlier, and for whatever reason, the, the attack dinked off. And I was like, oh, snap. We ain't trying that again. Wait, what? That's illegal. I hit him with that. That made contact. That's stinky. Oh. I got hit by the triangle. It was too close. That was a legit question. I definitely don't remember. Neither do I. I tried it. We can try again. I mean, we've only been here for the last 10 minutes. Oh, you can. Here, you can have that back. Thanks. 
See, that one had a good window to counterattack him with, but uh Some of these other ones, I don't know, man. I don't I don't know, chief. needs to chill here have that back stinky oh I thought I could counter tackle him <laughs> that was dumb <laughs> I thought we could counter tackle him. Hold on, hold on. Let me try it again. <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having way too much fun with this now. He rolled into me. This butt. Ugh, take that. So I've got options. I'm glad Teach pointed that out because, like, I have a safer way to, I think, deal with the ice form now. Or I could just continue being stupid. Try not body slam this man. <laughs> it's never not gonna be funny to me. There's nothing that amuses me more than the ability to just punch back and 20 times harder. Oh wait, I picked the wrong... I should not have comboed this. Yeah, that was dumb. I should have just taken the one. The snowball one is... dangerous to hit with. <laughs> this is... this is way too funny, man. Oh, he's lingered for a while, so I could have. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, this is infinitely safer than whatever shenanigans I was trying to do earlier. <laughs> Oh no wait, that's a that's a that's a normal type move. So would it be Kirby use flame wheel? Ooh. Oh, this little thing moved way too far out. Yes. Chocolate blocks. Kirby use roll out! Face boomerang is so slow. Ah, 
take that, stinky. I feel gypped. Three. Three whole ability thingies. And homie took only one point of damage. That's messed up. Ah, casting the dark magic. He's casting the dark magic. Alright, fight over, Stinky. Any last words? <laughs> it's not exactly the best word I'd choose, but okay, whatever. Let's go! Game beat! We can all go to bed now. Hey! Yup. Enjoy the ending cutscene. I... I think this deserves a nice swig of hydration. We beat the game. Life is good. Ah, uh, we're finally done. Bro, they actually hooked us up with a spaceship this time around? Friendship handshakes. KDDD's <laughs> all emotional. That's funny. Usually I gotta go take the Warp Star home, so it's nice to get a ride back for once. Well, that didn't look good. That look? She's mad that Ribbon got to eat all those yummy painting food things. Oh, that was sinister? Oh, yeah. Anime glasses face? <laughs> Swirly glasses! I am the last Bushido Blaster Master! Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Seriously, the sound team who worked on this game, can we, can we give like, them a little bit of applause? Because... Is that the fairy princess? Wait, she's actually cute when she takes her glasses off and lets her hair down? Ayo. Hey, Not for real, though. Can we get a round of applause for the sound team? This game's just amazing. I can't believe it's finally over. Wow. Ah, oh, the good times, they just don't last. Well, look forward to next week when we begin Ape Escape 3 in this slot. I'm thinking maybe we're going to move Marvel to the Thursday night? And we'll be doing... We'll do Ape Escape on, like, maybe Wednesday night. And our special super cool mystery game is gonna be, uh, next Tuesday. Count on it. Live, hello live, live recently. Began streaming adventure. Streams a couple different action-y things. Occasionally does the orc. Last seen playing Fortnite. How's your how's your fork knifing been? Hello live. Tej says, how many crystal shards did I end up getting? 63! I'm just kidding. We'll see. He's fun. Hey. You didn't think the game was actually over, did it? It's a Kirby game. Come on, guys. You should know better than that. Kirby 63. 99%? Watch me make that 100. Whoopsie doodle! We didn't get this shard. Ah ha ha, silly me. Give me five seconds to remember, though. Um, I think... I'm gonna have to go to my favorite stage of the game. I'm gonna show you guys an ability combo I don't really use because I think it is stinkity dinkity. Actually, wait, hold on. Not this one. I think it's actually the very first stage of the game. Nah, it's over. It's over. Nah, it's over. It's over. Tanuki, I hate this shard. <laughs> so I'm never. I will never forget what the combo is. Hang on. <laughs> I 
think it's this one. <laughs> so, Tanuki and I were like, ah, yes, that shard. This is probably the, most, the second most annoying shard. I think, I think the, um, the Aqua Star. The Aqua Star shard is still probably the worst one in the game. Because it's like, bro, <laughs> what? You can use a color combo to figure out what you're supposed to bring to most of the, uh, the combo puzzles. That was the one in the, the one one in the game that was like, it did not follow that rule. I hate this ability so much. The Aqua Star that breaks the one con the one convention. Yeah, I can't stand it. Shoot true, loyal arrow. Are you sh I hate it here. Oh, I almost got boned. Guys, I can shoot 1,500 at the Gerudo Training Valley archery thing. And yet here I am, struggling with Bow Kirby. This ability is the stinkiest ability, I swear. Spike, fire, flaming arrows. Like, what shenanigans is this? See, it'd be cool if it wasn't so freaking hard to aim. Not even Cupid Kirby's this hard to use. And let me tell you, that ability is kind of tricky. I, I'm, that's probably why they gave you wings. Because holding down the aim is just stinky. And slow? It's so slow. Oh. Sorry for your princess if I'm burning down your carpets and stuff. My bad. You know what? We're gonna go with the Hawkeye method. Can't miss if I'm point blank, right? Cool idea, but for cereal? For real life? Hold on. Thank goodness they added snacks here, because, like, oh, I'm gonna need that cake. Cake slice. Oh, I think I have cake in the fridge, actually. Be a very good chaser after this game. At least they learn with the actual archer ability. The actual archer ability later on, like, in the series is so much nicer than Cupid or this. I mean, at least it's a bullseye. That counts for something, right? Oh! The back of my head! See, this is why we bull- this is- this is why Kirby and the gang decided to take a bunch of trumpets and drums and keyboards and bullied the Fairy Queen. Cause how were you supposed to guess this shenanigans? Right here. Get out of here. Oh look! My game is flashing! I wonder what that could mean. That song though, someone is going hard. This song goes way too hard. There's a small part of me wish that that played while fighting this boss. Get yourself back here! Stinky, you want a second helping? I'm so generous, I'll give you thirds. Get out of here. Kirby, use flame wheel. Oop, never mind, I lied. Whoa, wait, he came from the other side. That's a little. Boink. Oh shoot, hands are too fast. My bad. Oh shoot, how'd that happen? That's a that's that's not cool. Ah! I tried to jump through the gap. He did not work. We have to find out the mystery of the flashing the flashing stage icon. Whatever could it mean?
I thought he was gonna go rise up. He did not. Tee hee, lol. Man, I couldn't eat the booty for that last few hits. Shake, shake! He's coming at me with the lazy laser! Oh, wow. Wait. Bam! Couldn't set him up with second helping. Give me your best shot, Stinky. Again with this chocolate form. This dude really likes this chocolate form. Dunny. Shoot. My booty wasn't safe. Come on! One more hit. Oh, he's relying on the dark magics! No, thank you for the raid! Hello, hello! Welcome in, raiders! If y'all have yet to meet me, I'm the host of Insomnia Attack, and I'm done with this boss. Huh? That's not a crystal shard. What's up, Mel? Hold up. The mold! We exploded the mold! <gasps> it zapped her in the cheeks! Her butt's no longer possessed! That doesn't look healthy, though. What? Did homie just call an Uber? Did his Uber just run him over? What is this game? <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> the cheese exploded. Oh no. She just pooped up the nightmare. She really did. That must have been a real pain in the butt. Oh, these are all not all non elemental bad guys. Wait, what am I doing? These guys are just minding their own business. Oh snap! Model D. Wow. Adeline just said, "Get a life, pal. Get a life." Thanks. Thanks, Adeline. Such a bro, such a bro. Whoa! Hello. This does not look fuzzy. Oh, look, he's happy! Oh, no, never mind. He's a real sight for sore eyes. Whoa, my guy! 
Your eye looks a little red. You should apply a little bit of this. Maybe you'll feel better. Wait. Did I just get a crystal gat? This is so freaking cool. This game's amazing. What am I supposed to be doing though? Can I pull a Mega Man? Can I charge this? Wait, it's taking effect. Ugh. On earth is that? Oh no, he's farting on me! I can't touch the poo gas! Yay, we healed the growth. Nice. This boss fight kinda icky, guys. For crystal clear vision, apply directly to the eye. Oh, jeez! Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Upset stomach, diarrhea. Obnoxious growths coming from the back of your backside. Stinky poo gas. We're healing everything today, guys. I know I wanted to play a healing game, but this is just ridiculous. You like the Halo sword crystal gun thing? Yeah, dude, it is so Halo. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Kirby gets all the coolest toys for these final boss fights, like, no joke. Also, Ribbon finally does something other than collect my crystal shards, so I'm kind of happy. All the homies get their hour. That's nice. What's not nice is this dude is shooting things at me and I'm I've only got two hits left. Dog, you need to you need to chill. My brother in crust, I'm the express mailing you back to Jesus. Did I win? Did I boop his booty enough? Oh, there's a warp star. Good old warp star. I knew he'd show up eventually. <laughs> Even in the ending, Kirby still gets. Embarrassed somehow. Ta-da! And we're done. Now we're done! And the best part is, if you beat the game with all the crystals, and you beat the true final boss, the doodles have color. The queen ain't giving us the evil eye no more. Yup. We, 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 we cleared up her red eye issues. And so we finish... Another Dark Matter game. There's a small part of me that wishes they had, like, a, a, a little bit of a remake, kind of like Superstar Ultra did for, uh, Dreamland 2 and 3. Was that 0, 2? It's, it's one, it's, it's some kind of 0. Oh! Now she's all dressed up and looking fine! It's really cute that the, the doodles actually differ depending on if you get the good ending or bad ending. It's really cute. The eyeball was zero too. Ah, ah, ah. And there's also a zero cameo in, uh, when you fight DDD, which is cute. Fairy homies. 
you have to go collect the cards to even know that. Look and good luck getting some of these cards, dog. Because like some of these cards, man, they've taken a while. Look how look at how look at how lovely they make Adeline and the Fairy Queen look. Good times, man, good times. And look, there's even a mini Deku tree. And everyone's favorite eyeball. I like how you start the fight and he's like, oh, hello, and then he turns into this, and I'm just like, oh, well. And then there's this little goober. Look at him. He's a happy little guy. Zero Two is just such a cool boss design. It, it, he really is. Such a good, this is such a good game. And now it's done. We're done here. We're done here. Go home, guys. It's over. Wait, I've only been streaming for three- Oh, well, yeah, I've only been streaming for three hours. Wow. And so ends another Kirby adventure. Wow! That's it. We're done here. We're done here. Go home. Go home now. There's nothing left here for you. So what does 100% completion look like? It looks like this. You can go back, play the true end, mess around with Ripple Star, or you push the reset button. They pop off on Kirby, the music, the games, the bosses. It's just, it's such a good game. Also, I apologize if I missed any comments while we were doing the final boss section. Kind of got into it. <laughs> you also start unlocking other cool stuff like the enemy, I'm sorry, like the theater and the soundtrack. So now you can go... Listen to all your favorite songs. Time to be a fridge instead of a toaster. A. Hey. You also get a nice boss rush mode because, you know, it's a Kirby game. They do these things. Do you miss the sound check from the old games? I mean, it's still there. It's usually hidden behind, like, like a high-level completion. So, just jamming and vibing. Have you I played Superstar on stream? It is one of the first things I actually played. I ran through... Um, I ran through the Dream Collection for Kirby's Dream Land 1 and 2. I think I did show off Super Game Boy 2 at some point. We did run through uh, Superstar. I've run through Adventure. Time for some Kirby Air Raid. Pretty sure it's still forgot for Forgore Land in the hub. The Forgore Land version is really cute. And if you guys are wondering what this is... So you know those little cards I've been collecting? Homie! Homie! Ah, uh, Silent, thank you for the follow! NZ! It's good. It's cute cool too, because you also can see if the build, they'll give you an ability. Oh, I remember this guy. He's from the desert area, right? Mario! The bluefish. Might! Bull. A flopper. Kyron, I don't even know what some of these said. His name is No! Wait, the fishies give you the cutter ability? That's funny as heck. Oh, yeah. You guys are right. Cacti give you needle. Galbo gives you the fire. Cha-cha does not give you an ability, which is why that stupid hint is so misleading. The only idea is, like, oh, go to where the cha-chas are. Oh, there's, there's probably water here. Oh, I should probably use ice because that totally makes sense. And the 64th enemy for the 64th game is Bumber, who doesn't give you anything, but if you hold him over your head, he acts like Parasol. I thought that was two pieces of bread. It's a butterfly. I'm dumb. Cha-Cha will be dancing on your head if you hold him up. Well, that actually makes it almost worth it, though. Which is fun. Mumbies. Zebon. I was kidding. His name is actually Zebon. <laughs> I was calling him Zebon because that's what they call the little green thing in the anime that uh, Kawasaki was supposed to cook. I didn't realize Zebon was really called Zebon. That's funny. It's a two pieces of toast, a butterfly. Poopa. 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 And you guys already saw me play the mini games another night, so I guess that's. A oh, my hand slipped! Take on the bosses one by one, go at them unarmed, and show them who's the boss! Please don't bully me! Away! Away from me! Evil tree! Oh gosh! Keep your happy hops to yourself! Unarmed? But Kirby's got two! Oh, we amend the report! He's dangerous and has arms! 
I still remember that joke from Johnny Bravo. It just, never, it, it just lives in my brain. You mean I played this before in one of the files? Uh, yes. <laughs> you expect me to own a Kirby 64 cart and not play it? That's madness. Who does that? Certainly not me. Hey, wait a second. I played this before! Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's how I know it's a good game. It just has been a minute, though, so some some of this stuff I genuinely don't remember. I didn't remember, so it's like... It was like playing it semi-blind, which... Kirby, Kirby's are so fun to figure out. They are, the, like, a nice mix of hard and, hard and easy. That makes them just perfect for, like, shut down brain and just... Go Ungus Bungus. Know the feel? Oh, gosh. Also, Wispy Woods taking kind of, kind of long to, like, fall over. My guy. Ah, oh, it took too long. I was trying to get, like, two apples grouped together so I could take this dude out faster. The Kirby series has, a, like, a fun name for their, their boss rushes. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Oh, are you serious? It's been a minute. It's like in some of the older games. Too long. Now that no more cuddly for me. An apple a day keeps the boss tree away, I hear. So let's see what happens if I give him two. Bye. Look at this guy! Look, look at that little expression. Whoa, boy. Just forgot where... He drew the line on that because during the Mega Man fight, acted hardcore like I forgot how to do it. I did. Aki is good at avoiding spoilers on things I've not streamed before. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> ah! Like dead up. I hear you guys gush about the stuff I play, and it's just like it's really cute watching your first reactions to things. So I'm like, you know what? Insomnia Attack, the way I run it, is typically very uh, blind playthrough friendly. Or, like, newbie-friendly. And I love watching you guys get mind-blown. Like, I am really, really excited to play the next three games I have on the docket. Like... I really cannot wait to see you guys react to Beautiful Joe. I am so excited to play that with you guys. And then we've got Ape Escape and Metal Gear Solid 3. Those are some really fun games. Like, you guys are in for a very, very good time. Wait. Am I a Ding Dong? Am I doing this wrong? Am I doing this wrong? Ooh. This fight throws you off at times. Ah. Uh, ah ha ha. Hon hon. Hon hon. Wee wee. Ow! What the heck? Why'd that explode on me? Bro, I got no HP and I'm a scream. Oh no! The cherry flavor missed! Game! Why do they have to give these little particle thingies hitboxes? That's illegal. Tobs goes, don't blame the game. I'm gonna blame the game. I'm gonna blame it as much as I want. I beat it! <laughs> I'm allowed to blame it now. <laughs> What's up, Hobbs? By the way, guys, if you get to hang out with Hobbs, Hobbs is giga rad. Feller appreciator of all things cool. Streamer of many things. Owner of a thousand cooler games. Definitely swing by, say hi. Hobbs is very, very cool. Forgot this is the boss of the third star. Yeah, we kind of trashed him pretty fast. I think the last time he streamed this. But that's because I was allowed to use an ability. Oh, he just spat on a Gordo. I mean, no, 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 Can these projectiles please go a little bit faster? Look, I got a hit, Mom! I got a hit! I'm so proud of us. 
Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna beat this. Not sure if you were awake for this boss. Oh, it was a long time ago. Like I said, it's been two years since I streamed this. The last time I streamed this was with uh, Vesseru, like forever ago. Shark, please! Shark, please! Oh, he just did the thing from Superstar. That's that's illegal. That's illegal. Oh, jeez. Stay down, Stinky. Can I get one more boss in? I highly doubt it. Oh, wait, do I gotta Metroid this? Am I gonna sink? Am I in trouble? Am I in danger? He can be kind of a pain in the movement sometimes. He kind of he kind of can be, yeah. Oh no! There's chocolate falling on my head. I'm. Sk Are you serious? <laughs> oh my lord! Whoa! Listen, R-Tite! You keep your torpedoes to yourself. Ah! <laughs> phase 2? Yeah, he had a phase 2. Stinkity dinkity. <laughs> it's hopeless! Thanks. Thanks, game. <laughs> but that's Kirby 64, everybody. Um, wow. I can't believe we finally beat it. I cannot believe we finally beat Kirby 64. Thank you, Hops, for that emote. Heading out. Okay. Thank you for stopping by and dropping off the community. Oh, man. Take care. Yup, yup. Enjoy some quality bed set radio. I don't know what to do now. <sighs> this is usually the time we'd be finishing anyway, you know? So it's like, what do, what do? Wait, if Hobbs is here, Hobbs, are you done streaming to already? Oh my gosh, I think he is. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. My tabs are all messed up, hold up. All the homies done raided out. Great. Let's see. Went for a while. E. Already? Yeah, no, I woke up. I woke up really late? You've been up for 22 hours? Hobbs, please get some rest. Gave the EP anyway. Take care, peeps. Yep, always enjoy some quality bed set radio. What to do? What to do, what to do. I'm gonna get going too. Yep, peace out, P2. Thank you for stopping by and saying hi. Y'all rest well. Oh, man. Downside to starting so late is like, I don't want to sleep yet. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I feel like it's too early for Benj. Hmm... <laughs> and I don't know if I have enough time to tear through anything too quick. Let me do a think, because I feel like it's too early to go to bed yet. <laughs> what do I want to do? I don't have enough time to finish the, the last few dungeons in Mystic Quest. Mm, do I have any super fighting game that I feel like playing? Let's 
see. Uh, you guys want to stay up a little bit and see me play fighting games or something? Gonna lurk, but at least you're gonna start getting ready for bed. Yes, please do that. Enjoy some bed set radio. I might run a little bit longer, because... I don't know, I just don't feel like going to bed yet, because I did take that nap after work. So I'm, like, still awake. <laughs> but we did finish Curb. That's pretty cool. Debating on a phone. I have, like, a bunch of anime fighting games, like, right next to me. I could set up the, the, the Super Nintendo. Also woke up super late today. Yeah. It's one of those days. It's just, like, cozy. But I need to sleep? No, for real. I could try to do the boss rush again, but, like, eh. And I did... We did showcase Air Ride already. I'm trying to think of, like, there's anything in the lab I, want, I feel like showcasing. Something I keep for, like, a rainy day. Something that says, I, I've been aching to play this. Played some earlier tonight. Was doing... Oh, 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 oh. Fighting games sound good. I mean, I have the Yu Yu Hakusho and Ranma Fighters still chilling here. <laughs> so it's like, that's an option. That is totally an option. I could just end now, but like, I don't know. It's... I miss you guys. Like, I, I, had a, I had a week, you know? I had a week, and I missed my Insomni chat time. Actually, you know, let me see if I have anything. You know what we could do? Sailor Moon Super Nintendo? Oh, I wish I had it. What's up, Shark? Guys, go say hi to the Home, sh the, the home Shark. She plays the GBA games, she does the things, she also talks about yummy food. Swing by, say hi, she's very, very fun. I know what I want to do. Just woke up, good morning, Ichigo, you actually came just in time. Because you know what I can do for you guys? I know what I can do for you guys. We were talking about this earlier, I believe, on Ichigo's stream. Uh, Ichigo was looking for a very, very chill game to play. And I was like, oh, I loved this one as a kid. Turns out it's skyrocketed in price, and I'm just like, ew, why? Well, I'm gonna play that with you guys. I found my excuse. Give me one second, though. Let me go turn this off and switch the thingies. Early morning sharkin'. Early sharkin'. Early, early sharkin'. This is super disco bacon. Give me one sec to switch this. Flat fin Friday. Ayo, ayo. But good morning, good morning, home shark. Enjoy the lurk. I'm gonna go put on a different game for y'all. Give me one sec. Mm. It's also gonna be a chance to retire this for now. <laughs> Unclick that. Where'd I put the cartridge? Oh, I could also... could also do Link's Awakening. I could Zelda. I could do some Zelda, but like... Eh, we'll do that another day. I'll just play this until I fall asleep. At the risk of the internet finding out that I am dumb, I'm gonna play this. Ooh. So this is one of my secret, uh, another one of my secret chillax games. If I have like a time. And I need something to occupy my brain. I play this. Does this even have a category in Twitch? Oh, <gasps> it does. That's funny. So this is Katrap. Katrap is 
Um, a game I found in Grandpa Stash, because he loved puzzle games. You mean to tell me that this cat raps? I mean, you've seen me play part rap with a rapper. But no, it's a puzzle game, actually. You play as these little homies. And, uh, you do this. So see these guys? You boop them. See that block? You push it. And then you boop the other guy. Once the dudes are all booped, the game is... The, the round is clear. And the story is, I believe, these two little homies were cursed with cat ears. And now they gotta go clear out their basement of bad dudes that they may, uh... Get uncursed. Uh, at least I think that's a plot. There you go. See, ta-da! Not so bad, right? If I ever need something to distract me, or just I'm having a day, it's fun to just pop this in and just go to town. And if I remember correctly, this is also available on the 3DS, and I, uh... I remember picking this up in an instant because I was like, oh my god, I loved this game as a kid. So if I ever just, you know, I'm having one of those moments, it's, this is my uh, my cozy game. Kind of like Mega Man 5 or like, um... What's the other one? Like Link's Awakening was. Also, wow, this is a... Uh, hang on. Slightly better, maybe? Slightly better. I need to get, like, something, like... Some kind of liner to block out the fan audio, because, yo, laptop couldn't be loud. Let me see something really quick, too. Um... Where is... Where is, um... Can I slide this forward? Just a smidgen. And then, I'm gonna... toggle this. Here. Is that better? Sorry. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Also, let me know if the audio is doubled, because it should be just... single. Single audio. It should, should, should be louder, not doubled. Okay, so I bought those dudes. Uh... What amazing arm strength this lad must have to bounce from ladder to ladder. Alright, so... Oh no, wait! And I have goofed! Am I stuck? Not yet. This is what makes this game cool. Did you goof? Time to undo the goof. Ta-da! And this is why I think a trap is cool. If you goof up a puzzle, you can rewind. How do they do this? I don't know. Magic. Don't ask me, man. It's Prince of Persia? Basically! Prince of Persia. The Sands and Cats of Time. And I gotta do this for a hundred different rooms. Okay, stop and think. I think what they want me to do... There's no way back if I go to the left, so we're gonna drop down here, boot this guy, drop this rock here. That should let me do this. Bam! There we go. Yeah! Mmm. Tricky. Okay. Let me move this rock here. Oh! <gasps> 
<gasps> Wait. I finally remembered what the game was. I told myself, there's a game I want to play with you guys. That, like, I get a chance, I, I, I want to play it. I know what the game is now. I know what the game is. Uh, Let me try to get to round... I'll showcase up to round 25. Sound like a plan? I'll showcase up to round 25 for you guys, then I'll switch to the other game. And I have been wanting to uh, find an excuse to play that, and since I finished this early enough, we can do that. We can do that. That's gonna be super fun. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, you know what? Uh, I think I take... I paw that. Drop this rock here. Do that. Drop that there. Ta-da! And at any point, guys, you do want to see me return to a game. Like, you guys want to see me finish Fantasy Star Portable 2 or uh, King Kabancha. Like, be sure to either let me know or when the Redeem comes back, redeem the Supertone Marathon. We can play catch up. I should probably also, I should also probably save up a thing. I wasn't creative of Redeem so that you guys can, like, say, go back to playing this game. I just don't want it to be abused and, like, I end up playing, like, one thing over and over and I get tired of it, you know? This reminds you of Vigula playing Bugs Bunny Caves and Castle on Game Boy? I've heard about that game. I've actually not messed with it. The weird thing is, isn't that one of those weird Game Boy cards that goes for, like, a weird amount of money? Like, this one goes for, like, $40 reduced now, and I'm like, why is this so expensive? What YouTuber spoke about this? That got y'all wanting to play this? You can you can thank Justin for that, uh, that one. Oh wait, I'm gonna need a sandwich! So if you make a move, you you regret. It's just like, oh no, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot sandwich. You hold the A button, it rewinds. But then if it's like, oh no, wait, never mind. I don't regret my decisions. You can hit the B button to to uh, control Y. So let me do this. The other cute thing I think about this one is that there's also a stage editor. So if you can you can make your own stages, get the password, give it to homies, and you can have them try to play your challenges. Interesting stuff. Justin said the Crazy Castle series is kind of odd because apparently it's been reskinned to several different things. That's what I've heard, which is where it's like, it's actually a different game, kind of like Super Mario Bros. USA. And I'm like, oh, interesting. What am I doing here? Kind of puzzle platformer where the puzzles are finding the right jump panels to use? Oh. Now remind me again, is that Game Boy? Was that Game Boy only, or was it on other stuff? Mmm. I bought this dude, that's simple enough. I'm missing something here. Hold on. Only know the Game Boy version, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I've heard about such stories. Not enough, though, that I'm, I don't have, like, the most familiarity with it, so... Interesting stuff. Interesting things to learn about. So I can't use that ladder that way. There's gotta be a reason why this is here. What if I take that dude- Ah, there we go. Then we boop this rock over here, and round done. Ta-da! No promises if I beat the other game tonight. We're gonna try, though. We're gonna try to get as far as we can. Oh, game. <laughs> boop the dudes! No! Oh, I got baited. Again. I see what I'm supposed to do. Because the rocks fall the way they do, I have to... actually do this. Boop the rock there. This means I have an exit route when I boop these other guys. Ta-da! 
and we're done. This is this is why I enjoy this game because it's like, wait, what? I got baited, hey, yo. You think you can also pause the game, scroll to look at the screen to figure out what move you want to make next. <sighs> so I dropped the rock in here. If I drop one more rock, I can exit out. That's a tricky one. The goal is to get, I think, three rocks in there. Okay. I think I see- I think I see what I must do. Which is... Mr. Rock can go over here. Push him one more time just to be safe. I'm gonna push the rock here. Which allows me to claw through that. Okay, so this reminds me to... Ayo, yo. Reminds you... Scratch post that. Rock drops here. Don't ask why, how rock, homie's hard-headed enough that he doesn't get hurt by that rock falling on his head. Which, let's just do that. Ta-da! Bam! You've been playing an indie top-down puzzle game called Void Stranger lately, and it's really fun. It's going to interesting places. Ayo. Okay, so what do I do with this one? I think the goal is to be able to push that rock backward to boot this guy. We'll have this space open. There we go. Boop that guy, and we're done. Ta-da! A magic scepter that moves floor tiles? Ayo. A lot of rock and statue pushing? We're pushing rocks! Oh boy! Okay. It's a big stage. Um... Methinks the goal is to get to the guy on the left. So... Take out the scratch post here. Wait, take out this guy first, boop him, kick that there, but before we push any rocks on the l Ooh, wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There we go. Now I can boop this rock to the side, move it over so that I can still get over there. Now, second rock, we boop over here. We can still get up the ladder to get across. Ah, I think I solved it. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. There we go, and the guy's booped. Let's freaking go, guys. Whoa, why is this actually high def? Hold on. I thought my laptop coon's chugging. Okay, so get those out the way. sneaky sis then how am I gonna get to the other side okay okay, okay I see it I see it I see it because this way that's set up now that guy's ready to get booped move this rock over here scratch the scratch post and they're in prime booping position Ghost boot! I, I find the ghost in this game kind of funny. It looks like they're throwing it back and just, I don't know, I just find it silly looking. Boop! And you're done. Bye bye! Adios! Muchachos! 
Round 19! What do I do here? Let's see. There's a ghost throwing it back that we gotta move. And a carrying guy. What is the goal here? Do I push this block here? Scratch, scratch, scratch. Boop this guy? Now we can't go back there, so... Kick. Back. Ah, oh, there we go. All coming together. Not bad, not bad. Let's see. I want to get the sneaking suspicion. I have to be careful about how I boot these dudes. Okay, that's one solved. Maybe we take care of these dudes next? There's gotta be something I'm missing. There's like... Some... Goofy trick. I know what I'm supposed to do. Boop these. Slide the rock over, because I can still get to the left using this ladder here. Scratch post that, and we can boop the dude. See ya! Now this one... I feel like we can just safely boop this guy already, so... Boop! Boop! Okay, now... Here's the tricky part. This pyramid of homies... How do I take them out? And that ghosty throwing it back, how do I take him out? What if I take this boulder, we push it here... Let's just take him out... Goodbye, ghost booty. Now there's that guy. But is there a way to go back? I'm gonna take this guy out. Do I... Wait. Hold on. Before I commit to that action, should I kick this rock here, kick that there, kick this here, boop that guy, boop this guy, run back, boop this dude, which allows me to boop these last two. Aha! We did the puzzle. This is where the game gets super duper fun. And it gets better later. 22! Mm. There's gotta be a trick to this. If I boop... If I scratch this post, that means I can't get back... here. Oh no, maybe I can. Hang on. Wait. I scratched this... We'll scratch this, get this out the way. Because something tells me what I'm supposed to do. Boop this rock over here. I'll need to boop these dudes. So the rock number one goes over here. 
to use the ladder. There we go. There's rock number two. Ta-da! This dude. All right. Nice. Uh, I feel like this is like the other puzzle. They want me to go around in several circles now. So we scratch that. Boop. We'll move this rock over here. Since I'm not going to be coming back after this. Put this rock over here. Boop. Boop. Bam! And knock this dude right out. Nice. Nice, sir! Ooh, this looks like a puzzle. What do? What do? Maybe... Push this here? Boop that guy. That means I gotta find... Because the goal is to get over there, to that guy, right? If I scratch that, if there was one more guy there... Oh, unless... Hold on, let me see how I did this before. No, because then I can't come back. Mm. What if I put that rock over there? Oop, not too far. There we go. Now I can move that guy. Nice! Oh, man. Mm. Okay, round 25. Oh, there's a lot of guys. That's a lot of fellas. Okay, what are we doing here? I think so. I scratched that first. Take out homie number one here. Take out this homie. Kick that there. Take out this guy. Take out this guy. Slide that there. Perfect. Take out this dude on the side, and I think we can take out these other guys. Why was this one easier than the other room? <laughs> and that's Katrap, guys. So you're probably thinking, hey, this is kind of cool. BT Dubs, you can't do this. Oh, wow, yeah. Later on in the game, they're going to start giving you puzzles that require two of the cat homies at the same time. And what do we do with two of the cat homies? You're going to see soon. So you push the button, and it switches characters. You switch them around? Yup, you can switch them around. And this one's tricky because I have to be careful about which ones I take, which one of these dudes I take out. So if I go in the wrong order, I can't get them all. See what I mean? And just like that, I'm stuck. <laughs> so was there a way to raise 
that rock there. What if I do this? Because that means that leaves that guy there. Transfer your... Transfer the soul! You know, I've always wondered about that. I'm not entirely sure what... They were getting at, but you know what? <laughs> Let me take care of these four first. Take care of this guy first. This guy. And this guy. And I think... What I'm supposed to do... Is we work... One works the bottom, one works the top. And with the other dude out the way... Maybe... Just get the one rock out the way, dog. Oh, man. Dang, yeah. This is what makes this fun. Teed redeems vocal shift. Ba -ba -ba -bam -ba -bam -ba -bam. Die, mist. Smoosh him? I wish. These guys have pretty hard heads. I can't just smoosh him like that. What am I supposed to do? How do I get to that last guy? Unless the secret... The secret is... Hang on, let me see something really quick. Can... These guys fall? Yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> nope. I don't think I got it. I still think it's a matter of these knuckleheads down here. But what if I can drop these ding dongs over? Man, like, what am I supposed to? What if I'm supposed to drop a thing over here, right? If I get cat boy here, right? Then cat girl can go this way. And then she starts working on the boulders from the top. Moves that out of the way. Bonks these, which means I can now do this. And just like that, we've got round 99 done! Mmm! That's why I love this game. It's so fun. <laughs> The guy was behind the rock from the start. Yeah, kind of funky, right? And that's the kind of stuff that goes down in this game. But even if you finish round 99 and you jump ahead, you have to finish every single floor to unlock this bad guy. 
Clap, clap. Get it now? Yeah. It's really fun watching the, the two go work together like that. That's what makes this game super cool. One day, maybe I'll stop and we'll try to finish the other 74 floors, but today's not that day. I'm gonna go play the other game, because I actually been wanting to play that for a while now. Ugh. Excuse me. One more shift. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. All right, pray for my soul. Pray for my soul, y'all. Because I'm going to do something crazy. Alright, contact's clear. Yep, contact's clear. So, I'm gonna pop on this. This should be... Switch room four. I can't believe we're back here again. Oh, that's a hoot. Go into here. Oh, man. Go into here. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, that's loud. I have been wanting play this with you guys. Remember this guy? It's Bonk! It's Bonkin' time. Oh, I thought that would work. Boink. 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 See ya. I should probably get an adapter for the the Wii, so I can use like different controllers for some of these throwback games. No, you don't, Stinky. Cute. Bonk got the noms. Let's see what we can do here. Boink. Oh, snap. I can stun these dudes now. Ah, couldn't play keep up. Couldn't play keep up. There's no keepy uppy here. Dang. Ayo. Spicy bonk. Bam, bam. Malone. Let's see how far we can go before I get drowsy. This will be our, our uh, wind down game. Doink. Climb, cave child, climb! Oops. Dude! Yo, what is that? Wumbo meat! Let's go! Dude, homie just started headbutting fireballs. That's amazing. Oh, look, second helping of meat. Let's go, let's go. Oh, 
Oh shoot! <laughs> Mom, please! <laughs> I guess we weren't supposed to. But we weren't supposed to mind that. Mummy. Hot sauce, please! Oh jeez! Oh, nothing about a sign. How long is this game? I don't know, I don't think I've ever beaten this one. I just have very fond memories of playing it on a... Uh, my uncle and or Papa Tone's Turbo Graphics. Don't ask me who's, who it actually belonged to. I actually brought it up not long ago. And Papa Tone was like, oh yeah, that was actually mine. I'm like, wait, what? It was? Look at all these noms. Never played a bonk game yourself? These are so fun. Look at this little guy and his big old shiny head. He's kind of like Kirby in a way. He's, he's a big old head. And he do the bonk. Ah! The, the villi are kind of beating me silly. It's interesting too, because kind of like Kirby, you can you can boot dudes from underneath using like a jump. Oh, we lost most of Jonesing. Please, game, please. Wait, is that a heart? Hold up. No ice. Wait, hold on. Is that Wumbo meat? Yo, let's go. Very red, very red, extremely red. Cave child, please. Go in the hole. Get in the hole, child. There we go. Yeah, fudge your puzzles. Never mind. Extra bonk. Extra bonk! Level's a little hard to look at. He's very red. This is why they gotta fill you with iodine first before they, uh, before you, uh, get your examinations done. I don't even want to know what those things are, honestly. Bonk, please! Don't touch any more villi. It's kind of funny, those guys, this guy's villi have like little Jack Frost faces on them. It's kind of goofy. Ow! I was being a good toaster and trying not to touch nothing. Stinkity dinkity. And then we go into... Further in the colon. Oh boy. Get juggled. And he's gone. I feel a lot better. I'm your new friend. Arf, arf, arf. <laughs> what? You know what? I ain't judging. Way out! Teaches, I'm glad this like. Glad this like what? Begin the two round. This music is great. I should probably not try to bonk the cactus with my head, right? Look at that nerdosaurus. Pseudo Brooklyn accent existed in this period. Exactly. Don't you guys know? It, oh, jeez. It originated from here. Yeah, 
Giga. Stinkity dinkity. Pepper. No! I was bamboozled. He's a proto Pokemon. He's the ancestor of a uh, Meowth. My guy. Nom! Enough to motor through the level? Let's go. Oh, wait, hold up. Feed yourself with bonus food! Ready? I am an idiot sandwich. No! Can't have nice things, man. Bonus round! Headbutt the hot rocks! Go! This is what I've been reduced to. Bonking meatballs at 4 a.m. with my forehead. If only my baseball coach could see me now. Four hits. Any other bonus, bonus rounds? No. Got 10 seconds to scale that wall! This is a very. Yo, Caveman Mario Party kind of. the time. Boogalooga! <laughs> the Boogalooga! What is this game? What is a Boogalooga? If that ain't the most Rolf sounding thing I've ever heard, Bogalo! <laughs> I can't even focus on playing. Bonus round! Jump off the cliff and spin! Land on your feet to win! Can we make that a thing in our, my, my channel now? Booga Looga! <laughs> oh, I got bamboozled. I was supposed to spend more times. So never mind. Booga Looga! Like, how would you say that? Is it like Fred Flintstone? Booga Looga! <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all decide. How would you say Boogalooga? I'm good on that level. Goodbye. Whoa, where'd I go? I am ceasing existence. Uh, 
Oh shoot! Uh, I should probably not touch these electric eels. They look dangerous. Did I just get got by something? Dude, it sucks down here. <laughs> we need to get out of here. This is not very boogalooga, dude. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? <laughs> Bomb's chopper's so strong that homie can legitimately... Hold up, hold up, hold up! That's a meat, that's a meat! That's not very boogalooga needs to be thing! <laughs> that's what I'm saying! <laughs> this is entering my lexicon. This is gonna become a thing of insomnia attack. <laughs> Bro, that wasn't very boogalooga of you. <laughs> Stop laughing, it's so goofy. <laughs> With how much I cur I quote curse the cowardly dog. Like I, I just I can see it working. <laughs> Booga <-luga. laughs> Oh shoot, where'd this come from? Fuck! Get up that wall! Get in that cave! Oh my god! Oh, I had the invincibility, but it ran out. Oh, hold up. I want the heart. Oh, that was extremely unboogalooga. Wait, how I... Are you cereal? Are you cornflake? Oh, jeez. We need to not touch the slurm. Apparently, that does damage. Game, please! I'm getting epilepsy! Can I Mega Man this? Oh, I can! Oh no! I'm still laughing. Oh, what is that? Like a, oh, 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 it's over for y'all now. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, I just ended this pterodactyl's progeny. I feel slightly guilty. I want an I want an extra heart. Is that a thing? Can I get an extra heart somewhere, please? Banan! Yo! Oh gosh! No! What's up? What's up? Did I just bonk that tree? What the heck? Ritters, welcome into Insomnia Attack. If you get to meet me, I'm the host of Insomnia Attack. They call me Old School Gamer Tone, and at the moment we are. Oh, I just got Boogalooged right in the face. I'm gonna pause because <laughs> this is getting a little overwhelming. But uh, hello, Raiders. Uh, we play old school. We play new school. Sometimes we Boogalooga till dawn. <laughs> how's, it, how's it going, guys? Crumpkins! Crumpkins, Crumpkin, uh, Crumpkins, Crumblins! Thank you so much for ra uh, following. We hope you enjoy your time with us here at Insomnia Attack. What is, uh. What is Ooga, Ooga Boogie? Ooga, no, Ooga Boogie, Ooga Boogie is that thing that Geese Howard says. What? Teach, what was a stupid thing? Boogalooga? <laughs> what is a Boogalooga? <laughs> Real talk. I don't know, I'm just playing this game and all of a sudden the game goes Boogalooga! And I'm like, what's a Boogalooga? <laughs> so we're just, we've just been laughing about it in chat for like a while and I'm just like, I got hit by a bad guy so I'm like, bro, that wasn't very Boogalooga of you. <laughs> Thank you so much for shouties. Thank you for being here. Guys, if you get to hang out with Moo, 
Mu is a pumpkin VTuber who just hangs out and plays all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, she was currently playing through Paper Mario recently. Uh, I believe that's what she was streaming last. And she's, uh, she's also fond of the Zeldas. Sometimes streams with buddies. Swing by say hi. Mu's all sorts of fun. Please call the... Call you Crumb. Understood. And if I ever, uh, if you guys have nicknames and stuff, or like pronouns, like let me let me know. Want to save five grand for the remove for the removing of the ears? Why? But I I can hear chat better this way. I can hear you boogalooga even when you're quiet. Real talk, real talk, real talk. Um. Thank you, Move, for sharing your community, guys. Uh, I understand that I stream at a really weird hour. So if you guys got a zonk, like you know, tuck in, get the jammies on, brush your teeth. Please feel free to do so. Would appreciate that. Would appreciate that. I mean, uh, if you guys got to do that, you know, appreciate your company. Appreciate your uh, well-being. Here at Insomnia Attack, we 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 care about the active chatters, the lurkers, and even the future bot friends. Look at that glowing volcano in the background. This game has been a game, dude. I just went inside a dinosaur. Uh, went through his colon, fought a boss, got called Boogalooga. Spun in the air, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a game. I, I'm having fun with it. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> Look at those happy little guys! Look at this little dude! His name is Bonk. He does Bonk. But how was stream? How was uh, Paper Mario, Moo? Thank you for stopping by again. Game, please! Oh, no. Can't have nice things. We actually uh, beat Kirby64 to the Crystal Shards earlier at 100%, so... We're riding high on... Uh, Achievement right now. Oh, jeez. And next week, um, we are gonna be playing uh, some really fun stuff. So I'm playing Bonk's Adventure because I was like, wow, we finished we finished Kirby really fast. Um, what are we gonna do now for the rest of the stream? So we're just hanging out, playing Bonk. Game, please. I only have three extra Bonks. Oh, I can step on the. Ugh. I just got axed. Just, I just got axed to stop existing. Get juggled. Very much enjoyed yourself. You're playing it because you hit the charity dono goal. Hey yo, congrats on hitting your goal. That's awesome. Congrats, congrats on the, the dono goal. What charity were you uh, playing for, if I may ask? Sorry, I need a second. Like, breathe. This game is getting intense. <laughs> also, uh, can't move. Reading in table for. Uh, 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 25. That's pretty cool. World Central Kitchen. Hey, That's pretty cool. It's important to feed the homies. For real, for real. How to protect yourself from vicious creatures. Give them a nice hard skull bashing headbutt. 80 battle power. Normal type move. Pokemon knew what was up. Malone! I could definitely use more health, though. Oh god, what is that critter? Is that a frog with wings? Bro, they had those back then? Oh jeez, I'm stepping in the poop. I'm stepping in the poop. Dude, headbutting hurts. Tried it one time, never again. Oh yeah, no, you need a you need a pretty thick skull to be pulling out that kind of maneuvers. It's a time. What on earth? Oh shoot, I'm stepping in the poop again. I just healed. I don't know what is happening here. This is this is just Bonk no! Bonk live! Live, cave boy, live! Stinky. That dino with the side eye? No, for real. That dino with the side Like, this game is so- such goofy stuff going on. It's like, it's amazing! Oh my goodness. Him! That guy! That's him! That's him, officer. Let's go say hi again. That expression. Wait. I might need to go eat these onions, because I'm- 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 I'm hurting right now. I just lost- I just lost two bumps on this section. 
He knows what he's doing. This Tinklemeister over here. He knows what he's doing. If I get got by one more freaking dragonfly. Oh god. Please! It's not so much the falling in the poop part that hurts, it's the fact that the screen flashes red every time I do that. This game is not very eyeball friendly. Hold on, you're gonna go to the bathroom, BRB. Travel safe. And don't forget. Real gamers bathe, y'all. Hi, Jim. Okay, okay. Hey, let's see. It's this song again. Woo! Ow. Huh? There we go. I want y'all to know that I don't actually don't know the buttons for this game at all. I'm figuring this stuff out as we play. For real, for real life. Oh no! So the fact that I could shimmy around the trunk like that, I did not know I could do that. Wait, can I... No, never mind. I was gonna say, can I farm that goon for, uh, points? Like, I can't even tell the difference between one. Like, I can... Can climb on or not. Oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. Oh no, my bonks! I had bonked my last bonk. Bonk, switch, please. I wonder if there's a secret item anywhere nearby. Switch! Wait, nope. Bonk, please! I guess not. Oh no! Okay, so the, the little pink, the, that pink wall we can't ascend. Oh shoot, I can't go that way. Okay, so bad guys, they respawn, that's not bueno. Ah, man! Ooh! Bonk! Your prehistoric cheeks, please! Guard them better! Where we left off, right? So let me go this way. Thankfully, these dudes have. No, 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 no! I was gonna say they have poor aim, but I guess not anymore. Alright. Maloon! Uh oh. He don't look friendly. I go this way? Ah! Tried to get the drop on this dude. It was not happening. Back up! Wait, what? Cave homie, what do we do here? Hey! Not meats. Nice. Alright. Ow! 
Give me one sec. There's a lot to do here. Ooh! That locust looks scary. Oh, this isn't so bad. Bam! Whoa! Boing! Ooh. Oh, I forgot I can't duck. Darn, I'm trying to get the clad. Please! No bully! No bully! Uh-oh. What do I do? Boop, 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 boop. Leroy Jenkins! Oh, nice. Nice! A full heal! I could use one of those. Ow! Bonk plucks. Aw, oh, yeah, it's mega meat time. Harg! Oh, snap! I got an extra bonk! Get boogalooed, son! Oh, snap! Are we- are we at a boss now? Dare I ask, what... Is that a dinosaur ninja? Bro, they had ninjas back then? This one! Can I eat that? Oh, I cannot eat that. that. That's just a hazard. Haha, <laughs> silly me. Get got! Huh? He's not got it yet? Dang, he's a lot harder than the first dude. Welcome back, Moon, just in time. You're my hero! You've won my heart and mine, Bonk! Well, okay. <laughs> Welcome back, Moo. We just beat about. Rip him up! Nice mustache. Th thank you. I mean, no, wait, why am I thinking you? That's someone else's mustache. Yes, it is a nice mustache. Very fabulous. What the heck? It's a Bonksaurus! Wow, that's unpleasant. Oh no! I'm getting got by a bunch of different stuff here. Get got! And comboed! Ha! Hold up. Bro, this music is really good. Hold on. Gotta avoid that salsa dancing cactus. You wanna try to anti-air? Get out of here. Huh? Before I tag that friendo, let me see if I can... if there's any hidden things here. Oh, there is. 
bananas. Eat your heart out, Giga Clan. May as well take it. Potassium poisoning, what's that? Meat! Back home, poems. Only one bonk per zone. That's me. You feel the same way when you eat meat. Let's go! You get you get extra hits. <gasps> Maloon! That's pretty cool. Delish. Alright, no minigames here. Oh gosh, touching cactus directly. Was not the wisest decision. Hey! Bonus round! Headbutt the hot rocks! Let's do it. Bring it on. Ready! Ooh. It's on hard mode! That's the way to use the noggin. 49 hits! Wonder if melons are so good because in Japan they're so expensive? Wait, hold on. You wonder if melons are so good because in Japan they are so expensive. I mean, melons are delicious. Melons are good. I like them. And there's all sorts of different kind of melons. Oh, this is the one. Jump off the cliff and spin. Land on your feet to win. Ready? Go! Oh! Bad landing! That was not very boogalooga of me. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my. Feed yourself with the bonus food! I squeeze me. Bad lending, but good spin, yeah. What happens if I get to the end? No, 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 no! I guess I'll never know. No mini games here. Ugh. These Bonkasaurus is kind of getting on my nerves how much damage they do. Get anti-aired, stinky. Bonk's hanging on by a thread! Bonk, please! Oh, six out of full heal. Nice! Ow. Cacti, they hurt. They do, they do. Oh, how do I get... How do I get over there? 
Oh, Maloon House. They hurt, but they also dance. They're they're kind of funny like that, ain't they? They're prickly, but they're cool dudes. Click click, nothing there. Ooh. Click click, nothing there. Maybe they're prickly because I'm going into their town and eating all their melons. That might be why. That might be why. Nice! I got a replacement bonk. Booga Luga. Leo! Oh gosh, it's also Leo. Leo, what's up, Raiders? I do be snacking. Leo coming in, table for ten. What's up, Leo? How was uh how's your game? Raiders, if you get to meet me, I'm the host of Insomnia Attack. They call me Old School Gamer Tone. We beat Kirby tonight, and now we are bonking it up. We, uh, la 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 la, we play old school, we play new school. Sometimes we also like to talk about our favorite snacks. Do you guys have any? Uh, welcome in. I know I stream at somewhat odd hours for some of y'all. Um, if you guys gotta tuck in, brush your teeth, get the jammies on, please feel free to do so. If you guys gotta go get ready for work, I also understand. Uh, here at Insomnia Attack, we care about your well-being as well as your company. Odd hours are fantastic. Played some new Fallout. How am I? How am I going? How's it going for me? Um, boogalooga. That's the word I'm gonna use. Boogalooga. But I hope you had enjoyed your Fallout. I know you've been looking forward to playing that. And guys, if you've yet to hang out with Leo, Leo does a variety of things. Sometimes plays uh, new school stuff. Sometimes hangs out and plays some old school stuff. She's actually been doing a lot of fun Chrono Triggering recently. Very first time too, I believe. Which is all sorts of kinds of fun. These birds are getting on my nerves. <laughs> you need to get gut. You stinkity dinkity. Right now we're just hanging with the cave homies. Playing mini games, eating people's fruit, and bonking things. Ow. This is actually kind of my first playthrough. Kind of my player first playthrough of this too. I don't think I've ever gotten this far as a batch of bits and bytes. <laughs> so this has been an experience for me. Oh my lordy lord. I just got a replacement bonk, and I'm already... I'm already a goner. Ow. Did you guys know that walking into cacti is dangerous? So stuck in Chrono Trigger. Thank you for shouties. Oh! I'll give you ten seconds, and I'll answer any questions you may possibly have. You guys ready? Ready? Go! <laughs> Living in a desert will do that to you? I, I'm so... I'm so down... I'm, <laughs> well, now you know where it comes from, Moo. Everyone's been asking who's been coming in. They're like, what's a boogalooga? I do not know what is happening in this game anymore. I really don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bada <laughs> But what's up? Where are you stuck, Leo? I might be able to give you a hint. <laughs> I can't. Oh, also, I, I held this to myself. I, this is why I didn't answer anything when you were in the Millennial Fair, but what, did, what happened with the trial earlier into the game? Were you- how, how guilty were you found? <laughs> I can't. Also, guys, Leo also smacked up mages on her first try- OH MY LORD! On her first try, which is also very cool. Uh, what just happened? Oh, I'm in for a bad time. I'm confused. It's just gonna go this way. It says, go to the right. Oh, are there branching paths? I'm so confused. I am so, so lost right now. <laughs> nice, wait, I don't know what's happening anymore. Those are some very, very fancy prehistoric 
glowy things. I... Am I supposed to be in here? What on earth is that Pokemon? Is that an Ammonite? What the heck? Oh yes, my favorite, the prehistoric crocodile. Kind of a big deal. JK pretty easy. Nah, for real, GG is. Oh, my lord! Ow, 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 ow. Mages can actually be pretty hard your first time around, so like, GG is on getting that done. He's a Pokemans, he really is a Pokemans. I just got got busy staring at chat. Guys, you're so, so distracting. I don't know what I just ate, but I ate it. Nice. Cave child. Okay, gotta go sort of some din dins. Please look after everyone. We'll do. I hope you guys enjoy your stay here at Insomnia Tech. Enjoy your din rar, uh, Leo. Thank you so much for sharing your community with me. And yes, if you gotta go take care of what you gotta take care of, please feel free to do so. You take care. Behave! We have to behave! I mean, usually we do, yeah. Usually. Kinda sort of. I gotta go figure out dinner myself. I'm actually kinda hungry as well. Oh, uh, I think I made that... Whatever I made earlier, uh, if you guys didn't see uh, the, the Secret Base or Twitter, I made myself some nice, uh, nice chicken, rice, and side salad thing, but I think I made the chicken too spicy, so I'm like... I have the hunger. What do I want, though? Oh look! We're done! No! Wait! 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 That's an extra bonk. I'm gonna need that. Thank you. That sounds good. It was it was solid. Just uh, I made it too spicy. Using it, I have to go like go light. Thank you. We'll be back later, perhaps. No such thing as too spicy. That's what. That's what some of the homies said. Ooh, I'm sliding. I'm sliding. It appears we have entered the Ice Age. And there is no nut to be found. Sad times. Ah, oh, full heart. Excellent. What? Do you see the schnoz on that boy? Look how big his nose is. Malone! Wow, I... I am not enjoying this stage. Wait, can I just... Hitch a ride? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You wanna throw one more ice cube my way, my guy? Game, please. Ice cube? Ice cubes? Woo! Oh, wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> ice cubes, please. Wait, I'm going in the other direction! <laughs> Let's try this again. Ice cube! And now. Oh! It's the only way to travel. My favorite kind of effort. Minimal. And I got a free Malone at the end of all that. Woo! Oh, never mind. These burbs. Y'all about to be on my no-fly list. Stinky. Game, please! The physics here are so slippery. Like, I'm genuinely... I'm actually losing control of my character big time. It's like kind of... It's kind of interesting to feel. Whoa! Huh? Oh no! Well... I had a bonk. What's over here? You get the feeling there's sneaky, sneaky things. What is this? Feed yourself with bonus food! Okay... Dude, it's a Yoshi! Not even Yoshi has that big a schnoz, what the heck? No! <laughs> this game is a game. Wish bonus food would come into my life. You and me both. I'm kind of hungry right now. Yoshi, please. Yoshi, please. Be kind. Whoa, homie's got HP for days. Meats. Yoshi, please. Rolf! 
Dad! Heal! I dubbed the obnoxious Namasaurus. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am not having a very good time in this level. Back, Namasaurus! Back! Boing! Uh oh. I thought that was gonna do something cool. It did not- Ooh! Wait. Pause. Get bonked! Uh... I wonder if there's anything over here. Oh! <gasps> Boogalooga time! Oh no! Ah! <clears throat> oh no, I still got Boogalooga. I like this. The Boogalooga is a kind thing. It is amazing. It is a mark of mercy and grace. Also, you need to get got, dog. Think about your life choices, stinky. Oh heck. No, no, no. You stay in the heck away from me. Man. Boing, boing. Boing. Oh, snap! It's boss time. So I fought a big dude, a ninja. What am I fighting next? Woo! A Power Ranger! I'm fighting a Power Ranger! <laughs> Your jawline's not that strong, Bubba. What are you, a Mega Man boss? Is this Drill Man? Oh no! I boogered my last Luga! Oh. Okay. No iframe spamming this man. I gotta, I gotta actually hit him on the, I gotta actually hit him on the, on the head. I won. Ooh. Any, any words for me? You made a monkey out of me, Bonk! Come to think of it, I am a monkey! Have you seen Princess Za? That's a monkey? What in the fresh banana slam a heck? This one's hard. Waste them! This game is very, very, uh, <laughs> aggro. <laughs> You're like, rip them up and waste them! I'm like, dang, dude. Whoa! Why is the boss music playing? What's going on here? Oh, shoot! Why... Why didn't that work? Dino bro, please! I have only one bonk left! Don't... Oh, jeez! There's a Triceratops there. My K-Feedies! Oh, you know Maybe I could've bonk juggled my way through. Nope! You get an express mail to Chuck E. Cheezus. Bye, my brother in crust. Dude. This kinda dangerous. Oh no! Those dino babies! I feel almost bad. Almost though. Please, I'm just walking here! I'm walking here! Huh. Oh look! 
Multiple noms. Bonk. Ah, and now I am happy and full. Oh, that's a cactus. I don't want to touch those! Stinky bird! Let's go! Boing! Pepper! Oh wow, it didn't count. This airspace is not very safe for bonks. Huh? What's this? Let's go! An extra bonk! I mean, extra heart! Whoa! That's a lot of prehistoric meatball flying through the air. This is where the game gets very hard, huh? It, it might... it might be... Oh, jeez. I've boogered the last Luga. Okay. Oh man, these rolly boys ain't helping. The thing though is I don't think these clouds are the bouncy kind. Ah oh, man. Oh yeah. Invincible. I think this is the final. Uh, this is the boss. Final boss. I meant final area. Because if we're already at the boss. What the heck? Dog, are those homing fists? Oh, jeez. Get got glass, Joe. Oh, he's actually kind of handsome. What the heck? really rang my bell on that one. It feels great to be up here in the light. Now I can find my beloved princess. Okay. Punch-Out looking a little different. Prehistoric Punch-Out be a time. Way out! Oh my god, there's more! <gasps> there's more! <laughs> Wait. I am being a goon. Where? There we go. That's how we continue. Boing! No, you don't! Are you cereal right now? Wait! Big meats! Aw, oh, man, they're all bamboozlers. Yo, what is up with this place? Hey, nothing honest about this joint. Huh. Oh boy, a carrot. Fantastic. Why do I get the sneaking suspicion something dumb's about to happen? You ever get that feeling in your gut where it's just like, wow, I hate it here? I have that in spades right now. Huh? What's this? <gasps> An extra bonk! Understand? Yeah, it's like... Something, some shenanigans about to happen. I feel it in my code.
It's like, it feels like I'm in the, the enemy fortress or something, you know? Oh, man! Hold up, wait. I'm trying to go up here. Boink! Hmm. Oh no! Well, no, as long as you don't turn around, I should be okay. Whoa! Rethink your life choices, evildoer. Oh no! Ha! Joke's on you, I wanted to be up here. Oh shoot! All that for a carrot? Are you cereal right now? We have hit the five hour mark. I would just like to remind everyone to be sure to hydrate, not dehydrate, and unshrimp every once in a while to make sure that your spines stay happy and healthy. Oh, heck no. This is a lot of nope. This is a lot of nope -a right now. Let me guess. Gotta get the bone into the hole. Come on, monk. We've infiltrated the enemy base. Dihydrate is the middle name. Don't dihydrate. Dihydrating badge. Whoa! Oh, I'm now in the drink. Oh, I don't like the swimming levels. Oh, I get it. I get it now. Oh no! He's just, he, this one's angry. He's yapping away. Probably don't want to mess with him. Nope, 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 nope. You were staying back. Spawn of the devil. Oh jeez. I am not liking this stage. Alright, off to eat. See you around. You take care. Thank you so much for sharing community with me, Moo. Enjoy your Dinrar as well. Noidle. Live, Bonk! Live! Live, my cave child! Hold up. I sense shenanigans. Secret sash of moist melons! Hidden from the rest of the world. For me to put in my face. Lovely. Get got. Stinky. At least I now know that I can control Bonk in the water like this, but man, I wish I knew that, like, uh, after I'd lost all that health. Whoa, Mr. Bonefish does a lot of damage. Man, I am not enjoying this. Wait, looks like another secret spot. Oh, <gasps> An extra bonk, full heal, and mega meats! Let's freaking go. You cannot stop me! I'm unstoppable! Mega Me Combo! Huh. 
usually the elevators go down. Where'd I end up? Ooh, what the heck? What are you? Ooh, they don't stay down for long. Whoa! Whoa, 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 get out of the slurm, get out of the slurm! Ow! Yeah! Here's Aki says, ooh, Aki doing the bonk? Yep, I'm bonking things. Bro, this game just skyrocketed in terms of difficulty. This is kind of wild. No! Dang, whatever heart I had, gone now. Oof. Very oof. <sighs> bonk getting kind of bonked right now? Yeah, bonk is getting very bonked. Sauce. I'm gonna need that. Ooh. It's like Super Mario getting wombo comboed by the freaking lava. Is that thing not melting? Uh, barely? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, they've got magic Koopas. For safety! And I'm alone. Haru! Hello, Haru. Oh my goodness. I am not safe! I am not safe! I am not safe! his last Luga. You have never seen this game before? It looks very wild. I mean, it is about a cape, man. Okay, so they saw me out at the beginning of the fifth world. That's not the worst. Slight relief that they put me over here, but dude, getting here, giga sucked. Can I please stop getting got by these evil demon plant thingies? The game is giving me trust issues. Oh, I no longer have my fourth heart. Shoot. Life just got harder. Oh, hi, Haru. Hello, hello. 
Also, hello, Hirosaki. Welcome back. Um... Never mind. That was dumb. <laughs> Work being stinky? I bet. Dude, it has been a time. Especially with summertime coming. Oof. It is gonna continue to be a time. Should've blocked low! Stinky. That is a Bonkosaurus. Time to go. <laughs> Item, please. Extra bonk. Yeah, this game is a time. It is a very much a time. At least I know now that this area has minimal cool stuff in it, so we're just gonna bonk our way past. Oh my gosh. A classical time. It is. Yabba dabba. Don't touch me, please. Getting on my nerves. Nope. I wonder. There's crocodiles in the water, never mind. I was gonna say, I wonder if there's any benefit to just swimming through. There was not, there was crocodiles in the water. Life was very difficult for a second there. Oh man, I wonder if I can beat this in one setting. Whee! Oh, BT dubs, Haru, are your eyes feeling better? Hope you are doing well, uh, doing better today. Please. That's right, that time. We gotta finish this soon. Back! Back, stinky! Oh, never mind. Life is hard. Life is rough. They feel a little bit better. Just suspecting it's allergy. So trying to find some allergy eye drops and it doesn't work. Gonna schedule an appointment with the dog! My brother in crust, I'm sending you to Chuck E. Cheese's. Get back! Stinky! But I'm glad they're feeling a bit better. I'm really hoping that they do, uh, they get well soon. Look at this yapper. Please stop putting me in your mouth. That is unhygienic. Do not want to be here. Anyone any good know any good eye drops for allergies? 
Ah, uh, unfortunately, uh, I am not. Uh, I'm not aware of of any recommendations. If one of my mods were here, uh, he's a frequent allergy sufferer, so he might have known. But he is knocked out, unfortunately, at the moment. Show you him. Time to do some research then? Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't be of any assistance. Is, oh my gosh. Bro, how long is a stage? Getting a case of the crankies here. Here, Saki has none. He can suggest either. Yeah. I just realized I hope he's raided out, so I'm going to go clean up my tabs. I'll take that. Thank you. Wait, did I just get an extra bonk? Hey, yo. Ow! At least I know I can counterbunk those those things. Three bonks. Next floor. Whoops. Oh, man. I boogled my list, Lugud. Those little ones are kind of sturdy, they really are. Oop. Even with my bonk physics going. It's getting hard to traverse these areas. Oh man. Ne'er do well. 
Ah oh, man, had to be one of these knuckleheads. You know what? Thanks for the one up, Stinky. Oh no! My life! It flashes before my eyes! Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. Ooh. Thanks for the points! Oh, snap! See, that is what I'm talking about. Back! Back, I say! Back! Ooh. Oh no! The meats! Ah, I lost the meats. Well, we got through the area, that's the part that counts. Holy fudge, game looking kind of hard. Would have thrown a controller already? Platformers make you so frustrated. This game looks really hard. Only platformers you play were Sonic, Kirby, Tomba, and Klonoa. These are actually, uh, this actually wasn't the worst. I am... Mm. Oh boy. Well, to be fair, I do have my Mega Man back experience behind me. Just... There's a continue option apparently where if you if you lose you come you can continue back from where you left off on uh, like the last word you played it. So this one's been dumping me at the beginning of World 5, so it's not the worst. And the one boss we fought, he was surprisingly simple. I was able to just head juggle off of him, so I was like, oh okay, it's not too bad. I think Strider scared me more, honestly. Like, the first four worlds, we actually beat with no continues at all. This f fifth one, though, I'm wondering if it's the last one, because, like... Bruh. Ooh! Dang. I boogered my last Luga. If I can bonk homie for uh, an extra life here. Okay, now I'm done with your services. Thank you. Boyfriend knows you hate platformers, so he watches you do 500 times the secret puzzle dungeon of 15. Oh yeah, that's right. He counted all the deaths. Oh jeez. I was watching Sonny do that. He said it was a it was a time. I can't believe he counted, that's kinda of funny. <laughs> Did he have a ticker already? Like, that's kinda... Of, that's kinda of goofy. Oh, I'm getting Mega Man 3 I'm getting Mega Man 3 Please! Please! Oh, they had to have one of those stinky birds. Oh no! 
Excuse you, I'm trying to do a jump section. Please refrain from being in my way. Nom nom. Gravity do be the worst enemy in any game? Yeah, still be, this is still better than Jump King. Jump King is how y'all would see me get genuinely extra angry. And at least you you have the, uh, you can spin in the air by tapping the button to, um, the layered descent. This freaking guy! Blocked my jump. No, 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 no. I'm not mad. Nope, not me, not at all. Tilted me, not ever. Just give me one sec, guys. Had to turn this on for, uh... For the Game Boy stream earlier. I was playing Katrap, it was nice. Then I said, wait, I know what game I want to play, I want to play Bonk. We finished Kirby 64, so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna... I want to play something else. Stupid me chose... Suffering. Are you... Serial? I just... Healed you... Stinky freaking... Dog, I'm gonna juggle you to the Shadow Realm. Getting on my nerves. How am I not making that jump? Oh no! Hockey, watch out! What am I watching out for? I have been guarded. What's up, Odo? Help! What the heck? Bonk, why aren't you jumping? Hi, hi! Ooh, if I fell down that hole, I would have been sad. I refuse to lose. Oh yeah! Time to put the Mega Meat in my mouth. Let's go. Platforming reminds you of a certain GBA game? Lots of them. <laughs> I bet. This game is suffering. Not the worst suffering. Not the worst suffering. But it is a time. Oh, drill dozer? Ooh, I've heard th nice things about drill dozer. I don't want to try it myself. Please be the final boss. Five five. What on earth, my friend? The ninja homie. With a mustache! What the heck? Yeah, the bosses are all here! Why, do, why are they all here? He says he's a monkey, I don't believe it for a second. Oh no, they're all statues! <gasps> they even got Ashta no George! They got George! You enjoy those kinds of games? Yeah. 
Platformers are fun. I, I like platformers, but you guys probably already knew that because of how much I like Kirby and, uh... Huh? I'm confused. What is happening here? Just let me snipe. <laughs> Wait, am I going up the water? What the heck? This is a mana. Sh this is a mana uh, nonsense. Oh, secret spot. <gasps> Hidden melons. Haru says, "Get out of here, bot." Okay. Good night, guys. I need Waterfall HM, what am I doing? Shh, don't talk to Pokemon League. You missed the Sonic Advance days? Some of the Sonic Advance stages had such good music. I still think about uh, Sunset Hill. Whoa! I got touched inappropriately. Imagine if I went all the way down. You probably no. I want to go to bed. I'm not jumping down that way. I need I need to sleep soon. Tis I work. Tis whoa! What on earth is that? Excuse me? I'm sorry. The ghost of dinosaur? It's Yoshi. No, we met Yoshi earlier. Whoa, this is bouncing around. The floor is bouncy. Whee! Sonic Advance and Rush had really good music. They do, they do. I'm conf- No! No, uh, no, 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 don't tell me. Oh no. I beat you once, I'll beat you again, Stinky. I'm getting some friendship bonked into your noggin. Looks like they're easier too. The boss rush! Let's go! It's Mega Man boss rush time! Squeeze me, no. No Mega Man boss rush time. You keep that egg off my friend's head. Get out of here, stinky. Oh, lord. Joke's on you, game. Looks like I know which one to hit now. Stay down. Billy Egg Hatcher, is that you? No heals? Apparently not, which is kind of stinky. Oh, not this guy! He was kind of stinkity dinkity. Oh. That was not very boogalooga of you, dude! Drill man, please. At least we know we gotta bonk him on the head. St 
50 down! Alright. It's time for Ashton and George next. We got this guy. I Dempsey rolled you before I'll Dempsey roll you again. Bonk even got that Mega Man, the little Mega Man float. Stay down, Ashton no George. It's hit only! You're killing me here. Whoa! Huh? A Sonic character? Oh, she got a tank. What am I supposed to do? To do? It's a Flintstones mobile? It kind of be like that, huh? What am I supposed to do? I think I'm meant to hit the antenna looking thing? Oh, thank the stars! Thank my stars and garters! The game let me start over here. Alright. Um. Let me at him! I'll splat him! If I had to start from level five, like the start of level five again, I would have cried. I sneezed. I was about to be scared for a moment. You'd cry too, you know. No more Mega Man Zero. No more Mega Man Zero trauma. me we gotta get him ow I can hit him whoa where'd I go there I am Okay, t time to banana slam on this man. Whoa. I'm gonna combo you like a bad breakfast special, egghead. Oh. Oof! I've just rested my eyes! So with Ashton or George, should be fine. Right, he kind of does look like Joe, like Joe, doesn't he? 
Someone is a sport manga fan. Which I personally find funny. Come on, Bonk! Don't get bonked, son! Don't get bonked! You know, I think you guys are right. It is kind of stinkity dinky that they don't give me a, a, a free Healy. Which means I only have a few more hits now to figure out how to beat that last boss. Am I supposed to get up on the platform and bonk the Sonic character, or am I just supposed to bonk something else on the machine? Ten side gaming right now. Yes, and I'm so cool, I moonwalked backwards. from Moonland. My people had been brainwashed. Help me get back to Moonland. I still have more to play. Are you serial right now? I'm sorry. Wait, hold up. Pause. There's a rocket. What? Cave rocket? What the heck? Um. 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 Oh, what the heck? You've got to be joking. Excuse me? What do you mean 5-6? I thought the game was over! Oh, you've got to be kidding! This is not very Boogalooga game. WHAT THE HECK IS THAT?! WHAT THE HECK IS THAT?! Boy, I'm gonna slap you up. I, I I want to go to bed. Get out of here. No, my bonks. I have bonked my last bonk. We have booged the last luga. Where's the game put me out? Where's this game drop me? Where are we dropping? Where are we dropping? I'm too. I am too far now to stop. No. Oh, I hate it here. They're gonna make me- they really- it really is a Mega Man one-style boss rush. Which means I need to play this smart and really conserve my bonks, because this is ridiculous. Which means I can't take too much damage while dealing with, uh... The ninja, or, uh... 
Bonk boy. Just don't get hit. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Goofy Toon World, blue eyes, dragon looking thing. No, for real! I got beat up by a Yu Gi Oh character. We are not Tensai Gaming right now, guys. I can't. I can't even. <laughs> this game is so rude. They're really gonna make me do the freaking four or five bosses in a row. Homie just said, crouching, crouching hard punch. All right. Ashton no George, please, please be kind. Sorry, where'd all my health go? Has anyone seen my HP? <laughs> Has anyone seen my health? I don't know where it went. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. I might have to try for only half an hour more, because otherwise I gotta call it here. And I'll have to continue this another time. I know Haymaker would be tomorrow. He really did. I got Dempsey rolled, son. Homie just said punch and delete. At least this homie's not too bad. I'm with y'all. Why? It, how is there no hidden goodies here? How is there no hidden goodies here to be to do some healies? Can't even box these rocks. That's stinkity dinkity, man. Why didn't count as a hit? Bro. Why are these not counting as hits? Get... Get bonked! No, technically speaking, he did technically haymaker me into tomorrow. It is tomorrow, yes. That is a thing. That is a thing. Is that a bouncing eel? Oh no, it's it's it's, it's his tail. 
It's Holmes' tail. Let me not be greedy. I'm not gonna be, let me not be greedy. Let me just let him, uh, let him spawn. Do his fist thing. Do his battle pose. Either way, the color of it looked kind of, kind of, kind of yucky. Kind of, kind of. Monk makes his little bloop 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 walks. Kind of cute. He's looking kind of weak, too. The antenna got busted. Shoot. <sighs> Old games are simple, they said. Old games are short, they said. I think I'm actually struggling here more than I did with Kirby, which is kind of crazy to think of. I think you mean arcade games back then were short. Oh no, I play Middle Slug. <laughs> that didn't that was no short game. Middle Slug ain't no short game, man. Did him quit nice and quick. Still took a couple stupid hits though on the first boss. Remember dumping 20 coins to finish Metal Slug 1 through 4? Dude, Metal Slug at time. Alright, let me stop getting tagged by Muscle Boy here. Oh, jeez! What the heck? Game! This man's hitboxes, I swear. Oh, 
Alright. I need to stop playing I need to stop playing recklessly. Uh oh. Dude, where am I? I wasn't taking damage on those earlier. Now I'm taking damage on them? That's illegal. I hate it here. Iframes? What iframes? Just don't like the slide mechanic, because whenever you want to jump while crouching, you'll just slide. I mean, Mega Man. TBF, Mega Man. A sec. We're gaining. I'm gaining my. Uh, I'm regaining my uh, gumption. <laughs> Quick eye break. Megaman. All right. Work time. Take my time. No worries. Yeah, no, I'm just <sighs> taking a breather. That's fair. You playing Mega Man Zero Four. Zero Four is an interesting one because, like, Dead Up Zero Four is just like it's like Mega Man Zero One levels of uh, really weird stages at times where it's just like, oh well, uh, life is hard. <laughs> Platforms are just unforgiving sometimes. It's 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 like stupid stuff gets you. Not even like it's not like zero two or zero three where they have like oh don't fall for the trap. It's more so just you get squished in weird ways. moment indeed yeah nah connection please don't die now I'm like trying to shake my nerves off anything secret no because I'm wondering if that's what I need it's like there's like a secret I'm not missing that's gonna make this significantly less painful pain uh, pain uh significantly less painful there you go that's the word sorry I'm tired <laughs> Really? No. This game really not give me any secret stuff. Oh! 
Oh, snap! Wait, hold up, pause. Bruh! Where were these earlier? <laughs> huh. Yeah, just a heal per boss battle could help. Yeah, nah. It's like, I thought it was gonna be Mega Man 1 disgusting, where it's just like, nope, back to back to back to back. Bruh. Bruh! Not that I'm trying to play sloppy, but like... This is so much more manageable. Be gone, dinosaur ninja person! What the heck? How'd that not count? You know what? That counted. We're done here. Whoa! Full heal! Nice! They hide the heals. Ain't no way they just did that, just hid the heals like a bunch of stinkity dinkities. Yeah, no, they really did. That's illegal. That's illegal. Thank goodness I decided to be angry and freaking say, where are the heals? And start randomly jumping into the hallway. Who, who in their right mind would seriously start jumping randomly to the hallways? At least the dead ends and the waterfall made more sense. This is cursed. Thanks, Bonk. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Haru, for for the, the, the insight. And making me think, you know, it's legal that they don't let you heal. It's kind of mean, even for Bonk. Oh, no, jeez. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Jeez Louise, dude. It's like the game said, now that you know this trick, we're not gonna hold back anymore. You're gonna get all of the damage. You're getting all of the damage, boyo. Please! Looks like Aru predicted all along. What did Aru predict? What did Aru predict? That I'd be suffering? Hey yo, small homie, an extra freaking bonk, let's freaking go. Stay down, Ashton George. Stay down. Any other hidden secrets? Epo, please! Epo, please! Oh, okay.
Oh, cutscene. Oh snap! Free Heelys and an extra bonk. That's what I'm talking about, game. See, we're cool again. Now we get to go watch this sick rocket sequence! I can't believe they, they, they started hiding stuff in the ceilings. Now I wonder how much of the stuff I missed before the other boss fights. That's cursed. Ghost of Yoshi. Ah, yes. Classic arcade epilepsy. Yep. Still better than Mega Twins, though. Mega Twins is still probably the worst I've experienced. Game, why couldn't you just drop me off at level 5 6? Why you gotta do this to me, man? Why you gotta do this to me? Boop the suit! get above him. Whoop! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to bait him somehow. Ain't no way that his weak spot is the nostrils. It's the schnoz. You gotta boop him on the snoot. You gotta boop the snoot, apparently. Okay, so now I know that there's a couple different hidden little bonks and some healies here. Which means... This game is good as one. We got this, we got this, we got this. We got this, we got this, we got this. In case I got scratched by the bad guys. Here I come to end you! I lied! Okay. This one. Oh, they were hidden lives? They were freaking hidden lives and items. Haru was right. They hid them. They freaking hid them in the ceiling, and I was like, are you joking me right now? Bro. You would have tossed your controller already? Yeah. At least this one, they give you a free heal. Like, a free full heal? I would have liked if I had an extra heart container, but what can you do? You yeah, mean Naki just found out about the hidden BS of the stage? Yep, we found it. We now know the secret. 
It was there the entire freaking time. This freaking guy, man. Back off! It's like the debris is not consistent in whether or not it wants to hit bonk. Ugh. Dude! This guy is so annoying. He's the stinkitiest. And he's done. Goodbye, Ashton George. That was like the fourth one, right? So there's no hidden ones. It's the next one that's hidden. That middle dude, though. That third dude with the ice chunks, man, he's annoying. Dang it. Please get bonked, dirty son. Please get bonked. <sighs> so here's what I want to know. Where? Why did they name the dinosaurs Za? Uh... <laughs> Very unpizza-like. Oh my butt. Okay, so I think a lot of the homies zonked already, so I'm trying to think of who else is left. So I think the other homie, he's in the middle of a subthon. I think he's knocked out. Okay, we got three bonks. Full heal. Let's go. We got this. They must be craving for pizza at that time? Like, that's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm craving for pizza. I might make a pizza for dinner. Bro, I might just eat a whole entire two slices. Two whole sheets of toaster pizza. Bro, this is Dark Souls level platforming. It's still not as bad as Mega Man Zero. It's it's still kind of like endgame Kirby levels. Especially now that we know that the Healies are here. This is that Kirby final boss energy. Mmm, pizza? Yeah, pizza sounds kind of good right now. Kind of bonk this dude up so he can get some pizza and go to bed. I'm looking at Owly Eye and I'm looking at Snowy. Because Snowy is doing round two of drawing Freerun, while Owly Eye is doing an event. 
let you y'all let y'all decide as to where we're gonna go. Had pizza today, it was good. What kind of pizza? Oh no! I'm gone! I'm a goner! Let me boop your snoot! Let me boop! Let me boop! Boop. Not that kind of boop. I will combo you in the corner, come back here! I'm gonna end you! I'm gonna extinctify your butt! Come here! Bro, what, what? The laser tridents, please! Chill! Chill, my guy, chill! Okay, so laser tridents can be bonked. Oh no! Let's play dead. Bro, how much- how many hilts can you take? Get booped! Oh no 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 no! Oh, the crown hits you?! I got, I got freaking cheesed by these tridents. I got cheesed by the tridents, it's ridiculous. Where's our slices, last chance? I mean, crown is spiky so it makes sense. Bro got stun locked? I got stun locked, yeah, for real. Hold on, that's illegal. Wait, we trying this again. That's illegal. This guy, he's getting on my nerves. If I could just freaking get him cornered like I did last time, that's kind of funny. Bonk! Leap! Bonk! Cutscene! Bonk! Hold down the jump button! Oop! I'm a fool. I have moved! I have goofed! There we go. The good thing is at least the fruits can help heal. And we want the points because the points are gonna be what give us our extra bonk. And we want as many extra bonks as we can. The other half was mushrooms and anchovies. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds delish! I'm gonna wrap here. Have a good one if you don't make it back. Yo, travel safe here, Saki? We trying. We gotta try to make it- we gotta try to wrap here. Cause I gotta- I gotta knock out for work too. Bro. But that sounds delish. Yo, I love anchovy. Anchovy- anchovy's boss. I enjoyed me my Philip J. Fry pizza. I want to share the food I like with the people I tolerate. Oh, the food I love with the people I tol- I poop people I like. Woo! I'm good! Oop! But yeah, you- GG's, oats curry, oats curry. Get home safe to hear Saki.
Dang it, I needed that extra life. Game! Oh no, I got got on his big broad shoulders. Jeez. Are you joking? Angry. A <laughs> little bit angry right now. See, boyfriend doesn't like pepperoni, so the other half is anchovies. You don't mind it? It's, it's, a, it's a good... It tastes good because you like the fish? Word! Anchovies would be delightful. And if the place does it so that the anchovies are balanced perfectly with the rest of the pie... Yo, it's bomb. It's, 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 it's bossin'. Ah, oh, God! The little bit! Ah, no, George! They saved the run. They saved the run, guys. This is not the run. Oof, very oof. I mean, we could try, just... I can't get hit by nothing now, which stinks. That was a bad bounce. Barely. <laughs> Just barely. Heal, an extra bonk. Cutscene. Highball break. Tab cleanup. Imagine if there's like something hidden here. Imagine if there's a hidden item somewhere. That'd be great. Alas, I don't think there will be. Time to combo this knucklehead the next week. 
Ow! Stay down, stinky. Back on Moonland. Love is in the air. We saved the homies. I get to go back to Moonland. Thank you so much! You set me free! I want to go back to the banana farm! On Moonland! Thank you for the GG's and congrats. I'm tired. Thanks for saving Princess Za! Bye, Ashna George. I can't believe I finally beat this. It's This is an insomnia attack. First time clear. Bye, moon homies. He got smooched! And he blushed. Wow! I'm done. <laughs> GG's. The cast. His name is Al E. Gator. Stu Stinger. Tommy Tick. Terry Tack. Oh, that's funny. Their names are Tick and Tack. His name is Toe. Timmy Toe. Freddy Frogger. Minnie Mongoose. This sounds like a great band lineup. Sally Slug. The Oopa Loopas. Oh, he's goons. B. Lou Roach. Henry Hatchet, Bill Duck, Fishbone. Actually, next sounds more like a Mega Man X boss list. The Squibs, The Squibs, Andy Ammonite, Funk E Fish. Who wrote these? Jerry Jelly. Gonna get ready for bed. Take care. Rest well. Blue Hawaii, B Ike Link, Crockett Dial, R Ed. Baker, rest well, enjoy some quality bed set radio, Gary Geek! Oh, I was kidding. Egghead Errol. The Amigos! The Uvulas! Uvulalas! The Uvulalas sounds like a band. Roz Urbach! Spike Saurus! VL Chur! Ha, funny. The Imps! Lee Octonus! T-Rex! Skins Kellyton! Oh my lord. Red Riding Ape! Twinkle Toes! This had a- the trees had names? Google Eyes! Flora Springer! Florit Sprung! Venus Bonk Trap! Nightmare Fuel freaking plants. Get out of here. Oh wait, these guys have names too! So, this homie's name is Huey! Huey! Go 
Good boy! Gladys! With the mustache! Gladys, the dinosaur ninja! Kongozilla! Who looks... He's basically just Tyrannoclaw from Ultimate Muscle. Bonk the bonk? Yeah, we really bonk the bonk. Bonk would bonk a dinosaur, clearly. Ashta no George! There's no way his name is really... No. His name is Punchy Pig. I'm done. <laughs> I'm through. The Sudoza! She straight up looked like she came from a different game. Yo, this ain't Bubsy. Get out of here. T. Ractor Head! That's pretty metal. He could be on a Guar cover. He's kind of cool. <laughs> In the Evil King Drool! Bro, where'd you even come from? <laughs> like, what was the plot of this again? And Princess Za. Uh, King K. Rule? No, no, Drool, Drool. His name is Drool. It says right there, there's a big, big old D. For a dinosaur. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. This is the best character. Bye bye. The end. Oh, there was more. I'm glad I didn't say anything. I didn't touch the buttons. All right, I've bonked enough bonk. I have bonked enough bonk for one night. Let's go. Let's let's see. And the end too, we like that character. The end and thank you. Best characters. I like thank you in Metal Slug. He was a cool guy too. Let me see who's Let me see who's awake. Alrighty. Not this, not this one. Alrighty. So here's what we're gonna do. Aliyai looks like he's doing a cap subathon. So let's go, let's go send some support to the homies. Bro, the Dilmo has skill issues. Yeah, suddenly I don't seem so bad now, do I? But yeah, let's go say hi to Aliyai. It's been a minute. Plus, Aliyai's been pretty rad. And Aliyai does a variety of games. Currently, actually playing Super Bomberman, which is pretty cool. The category says Smash Bros., but homies played Bomberman. Play Super Bomberman or. Oh. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to... I'm going to zonk. So let's go down the castle. This is Leo! Thank you so much for reading in. Share your community with me. I hope you're enjoying your noms. Crumb, thank you so much for the follow. Moo! Thank you so much, Moo, for, as well, for reading in. It's always a pleasure to see you. I hope you are resting well, enjoying some dinner. I'm probably going to be not long after. I'll also be getting some dinner. Hour. Silun, I hope you uh, enjoy your follow here at Insomnia Attack. No, thank you for the raid. Spiny, always a pleasure to see you as well. Thank you for the raid as well. Hazuki, long time no see. Thank you for raiding in, sharing your community. And uh, Fate, Doan, thank you so much for your streaks and being so supportive. I appreciate that greatly. Um, and Blood, also reaching a streak. Thank you so much for your support as well. Dom of the D and the Antbone, thank you for following. We hope you enjoyed your time with us. 
and Kit Kat, it is always a pleasure seeing the ghost cat hanging out with us. Again, congrats on the move. Hope you've been well with the new the new locale, and uh, thank you for sharing your community. And Monkey Funk 4D again, thank you for the follow. We hope you enjoy your time with us. This is it. It is it for me. I'm tired. This has been Insomnia Attack. I have been your host. Old school gamer tone. We hope you enjoyed your uh, your currying and your bonking. We will be playing Ape Escape next week. I'm gonna shift things around a bit. Um, if schedule goes as planned. Look forward to Mega Man Battle Network 3 post game. Beautiful Joe. Bet you didn't see that coming, did you? Uh, Ape Escape 3, and then we'll do some Marvel to cap off the week. And once Marvel's done, that'll be the slot for Metal Gear Solid. So you guys, thank you guys for being radical. Thank you for supporting me. And actually, again, Haru, thank you for giving me the the idea that there's got to be something hidden in some, one of these stages. So like, I'm not struggling as bad as I am. I can't believe we really made it through this game. I have never beaten this before, so I'm very happy. This game is actually special. Because I used to play this a lot when I was at Camp Grandpa, so... Thank you guys for being excellent. I'm sorry for the lateness on uh, this week's streams. Life be lifin'. Remember that no matter where you are, no matter where you may be, no matter what time it is, I appreciate the heck out of each and every one of you, and I hope that you guys are having a day. Whether you're at work, tucking in, getting ready for bed or dinner, I hope y'all stay excellent. Good night, all everyone. This has been Insomnia Attack. Night, everybody. <laughs>